Buckley people, it's Castle Bling. Clearly has never been to these studios, have you? No, never. <laughs> no. It's an industrial unit in Redditch. Uh, the week's waffing is a macrame pendant, peacock pearls, thread and seed beads from JM, sea glass from the beach. Oh, I love a bit of sea glass. Um, love to all the waffers, big hugs, Susie at the seaside. That's really, love. that's a really stunning piece of jewellery, Susie. That's gorgeous. Um, Sam Curtis, you're number five. Oh, cute. I would like to put this sterling silver slider bracelet on the wall of fame. I use silver findings and jade out from my stock. I've made this slider bracelet with one of my friends. Uh, sorry, for one of my friends. Everything is from JM. I love watching it and getting great ideas for making jewellery. I wish everyone who enters the wall of fame best of luck. Keep up the great work from Sharon in Wiltshire. Thank you, my darling. Oh, no, Sam from Sharon Wiltshire. It says it's from Sam Curtis. I don't know. Well done to Sam and Sharon. Oh, Abby, you're number six. Uh, good morning, jewellery makers. This 24-inch stretchy over-the-head necklace is made with busy mums in mind. It's an easy on-off application. It's time-saving. It's shower-proof. Looks very stylish. And best of all, it should be safe from sticky fingers as if as, as it'll stretch when pulled. I hope you like it. All from jewellery maker. Good luck to the waffers in, the, um, in your next drawer. Thank you, jewellery maker, for helping us expand our minds and think of others. Oh, bless you, darling. Lots of love, Abby. Thank you, love. Trisha, you're number seven. Trisha Bell. Please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A, a GSG. Don't know what that means. Two-tone chainmail bracelet. I hope you like it. Trisha, that's a lovely chainmail piece. I don't know what GSG means. I don't know. Gold, silver, gold. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Sorry. Uh, Jackie, you're number eight. Hi, all. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a charm with a rose quartz donut clear uh, quartz garnet phosphosidorite, microfaceted rounds and tourmaline plain rounds. All products from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like it. That's so cute. That's adorable. Angela Aronson, you're number nine. Please find attach my entry to the Wall of Fame. Earrings made from copper wire and shell pearls. All materials from JM. Good luck to all the talented waffers. Oh, you are gorgeous. Thank you, Angela. They're really lovely. I like those. Last but not least... Mandy Cooper, you're number 10. Oh, gorgeous rings. Oh, please find a touch of my entry to the Wall of Fame. Two stretchy rings, one with a mother of pearl flower, the second with a lucite um, uh, petal ring, both made with Ato silver lined crystal Mayuki beads for the stretchy band. Quick and easy makes for my sister. And I got two orders from them too, which was a bonus. Thanks for JM bringing this amazing goodies and beautiful gemstones. I love that I get a chance to make jewellery, which has been a dream of mine for years. Thanks, Mandy. You are all so talented. Right, early bird special time for the Green Goldstone. Yes, I sing along to that. Dee dee dum do dee. Right, okay. It's here. We've been waiting for this for ages, and I heard Neri actually threaten Wayne Del Paso, the Italian standing, and saying, uh, when we launch this, it needs to be on my show or else. <laughs> or else. You're gonna get it. Neri's love of Goldstone is pretty much unparalleled. I don't know anybody who loves Goldstone as much as producer Neri. We've bought you orange Goldstone. This is all man made, by the way. Man made beads, gorgeous, love the sparkle, the sparkle. Okay, we bought you blue gold stone. Blue, blue. <whistles> yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> but now it's a chance for us to bring you meter long strands of green. <gasps> Gold stone. This stuff 
is amazing. Um, it's so collectible. It's so sparkly. It's got so much going on. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, we've got eight mil rounds of your green gold stone here already flying on pre-orders graphics are live and people are coming through this is great to see this is not something i've seen before uh monica i haven't seen it in green before have you i think i've seen it once but it is really uh unusual it's very hard to find anywhere so yeah it's just gorgeous isn't it? it's deep. that lovely deep bottle green that you get looks really mystic looks really kind of um mystical quite dark and stormy and then you get those little kind of pockets of bright emerald green which um which come out and sparkle they're absolutely gorgeous beautiful quality already Maeve Carola Caroline Maria Tamina's got two well done to you Louise Joe Linda Margaret Helen Susan Elaine Brenda there's loads of people there it's absolutely gorgeous you can see it in the jewelry which are in-house designers have put together, there we go, sorry, love. there we go. And you can see it there with gorgeous uh, tube linetting with the pink um, uh, seed beads as well. It's just gorgeous. And it is a really subtle, it's a really, really subtle, a really, really subtle sparkle that you're going to be getting here. It's not as, it's not as kind of, it's not as um, spa, kind of overly sparkly like the gorgeous uh, kind of orange gold zone. It's got much more of that subtle quality. A little bit more like your blue gold zone. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Now, price point wise for you today, this is going to go completely and utterly. Now, you're going to love this. OK, we have already got loads of people with us in their baskets. Loads of people already coming through for this, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Well done. We are at $29.99. Now, can I just please remind you, this is a metre length you're getting here. So the equivalent of about three strands worth of regular kind of regular strands of gemstones, about three strands worth that you're going to be getting here. So when you kind of start to divide that down, that's going to be that's going to work out to what? £10 per strand there or thereabouts. Absolutely amazing already. Make on the Isle of Wight's got two. Louise has already got two. That's great to see. Mary and Jerry, Joanne, Jean, Morag, Louise, Linda. Loads and loads and loads of you coming through. But this is kind of the launch of your green gold stone. This is your chance to get the icing on the cake, the cherry on the cake. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got the gold, you, you've got the orange gold stone, you've got the blue gold stone. Now it's your chance to get the green gold stone as well. Put them all together in a piece of jewelry. It's absolutely wonderful. Of course, green goes with absolutely everything because it's called a colour found in nature. All the way down. Jean's got two. Uh, well done. Suffolk, you've got two. That's lovely. Louise, well done to you. Linda, Joanne, maker in Renfrewshire, Joe in Hampshire. 19 99 Oh, my word. That's looking really good. There's loads of people. I need you to start checking out right now. We don't have three, four, five, six hundred of these. We are limited with quantity. We've literally got in kind of taster, taster amounts of these. So you've got here, you've got here about three strands worth from your regular gemstone strands, which are about 30 odd centimetre, which are about 30 odd centimetres in length. You are getting one metre in total. You've got here on this particular, so I will count them if you want me to, two, no, I'll count half. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 70, 80. Let's see, is that round about half? You've got on here 100. Oh, you've got easily well, 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 well over 120, 130 there. Absolutely fantastic. And each section that you're going to be getting here with this tubular netting, this has got round about 12. Is that, will that have about 12 beads in there, do you think, um, Monica? One, two, three, four. There's five rows. Is it three beads around or four beads around? It is. One, two, three. So three times. So you've got 15 plus two on each end. So you've got 17 beads. Wow. 
So 17 Thanks. beads in each one of those. That's absolutely yep. incredible. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Just one of those in the middle of a necklace. Oh, yes. You know, just three. You don't have to go all out. You know, one, as, 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 as I've used it here with the gorgeous tassel coming out the bottom. OK, we've got a 30 second clock. Dawn, Maker, Tessa's got two. Lee's got two. Maker in Lincolnshire. Jean's got two. Lynn, uh, well done to you. Morag, Margaret, every single one of you. And we must have sold thousands of strands of the, of the orange gold stone and, of course, the blue gold stone over the last few months. And now we have got green gold stone. Add it to your collection. It's the icing on the cake. It's the incredible quality. You, oh, my word. £14.99. pence. Absolutely tremendous. Well done to Cheryl Tony. Well done to Maker in Northamptonshire. Margaret Morag, uh, Susan, Elaine, Julie. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Adri. Julie in Leicestershire. Karen in the West Midlands. Well done to you. £14.99. pence. Well done to absolutely everybody. Yeah, when you've got gorgeous kind of sunshine like you've got today, this is just absolutely superb. Over the weekend, I think it's going to be about 40 odd degrees, isn't it? It's going to be hideous. Ho! Oh, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Look at that single gem on its own. That's beautiful. Yeah, just a couple in a pair of earrings. Absolutely beautiful. Helen, Chloe, Adri, well done to you, Maria. Well done to you, Maker. Well done to you, Mary and Jerry. Linda, Maker on the Isle of Wight. Well done to you, Morag, Susan, Elaine. 60 opportunities remaining. That is it. Uh, you know that you could easily, easily, easily make your own kind of Marla necklaces with this, with your gorgeous uh, blues and, of course, your gorgeous oranges as well. So mix them all together. Mix them all together and make that gorgeous marla. Do that wonderful knotted uh, uh, piece, that lovely kind of, you know, practice your pearl knotting. What an incredible deal. Well done, Helen. Chloe, you're through. Well done to you. Marilyn in Flintshire. Well done to um, uh, Maria. Well done to you. Bidders in South Yorkshire. Well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Check out your baskets. We've literally got less than 50 chances available. Well done, Irene. Check out my lovely Anna. Check out. Well done. Guess what? If we can give you a little bit of money back in your pocket, we will do it. There is so much that this will go with today. This will go with the gorgeous uh, hematite. This will go beautifully with the gorgeous hematite. Look at it with the hematite. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, pop it with the jadeite. Pop it with your jadeite. Why not? It's got that lovely kind of foresty green quality to it. It's just incredible. It's almost like your leopard skin uh, jadeite, actually. Yeah, like between your black and your kind of um, uh, uh, kind of green jadeite. Twelve ninety nine. Oh my word! Anna's taken two. Jackson Norfolk, Elaine, Louise. Oh my word! Helen, check out my lovelies. Tamina's just got another one. She's got two now. Tony's now got two. That's great to see. Well done. Loads of multi bidders. Jennifer in Surrey. Well done to you. $12.99. And let me just remind you again, this is the equivalent of about three strands worth of gemstones that you're going to be getting here. That is absolutely superb. And at these kind of prices as well, you wouldn't feel guilty about kind of giving these to your kids to work with over the summer holidays. They're so sparkly. They're going to be so appealing, aren't they? Caroline's just bought two. Jennifer, well done to you. Wendy in Norfolk. Vanessa, well done to you as well. Bridget, absolutely fantastic. Emma in Herefordshire, well done to you as well. Go, 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 go. $12.99. What a great deal for you today. Absolutely superb. And use your 30 day money back guarantee. Absolutely use it. Use it. And, um, and you know, when you get these home, you will look at these at $12.99. Absolutely superb. Emma, well done to you, my lovely. More people coming through. Vanessa's through in Lincolnshire. Well done. We've got literally less than 20 chances remaining. We're going to leave that with you. OK. Yeah, that will go. Now we've got six mils now. Woo! Yo, yo, yo. Six mils. Six mil green goldstone rounds. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. So slightly smaller. Really wonderful to be able to use these in similar designs. Yeah, your tubular netting, stretchies. Look at that sparkle. It's so cool, isn't it? Okay, these have already started flying. Already. We've, we've had the graphics live literally a couple of seconds and on pre-order, Susan, Louise, Lynn, Jax, Margaret, Linda, Louise has got two, Claire, Brenda, Maria, Carola, Dawn, Lynn, Caroline, Maria's got two, Mary, Jerry, um, Jenny, uh, Maeve, Maker, 
Maker in Cumbria, Maker on the Isle of Wight, Maker in Renfrewshire, Helen, Tony, Judy and Orwin all came through to get this before we'd even bought the graphics live. That tells you everything you need to know about the popularity of this. Now, a six mil round. It is our most popular size of gemstone. There is nothing you can't use a six mil for, basically. Uh, with your 10 mil rounds, for instance, you might think, oh, do you know what that may, that, that maybe is a bit too big for a stretchy bracelet for me? Or maybe it's slightly too large for, I don't know, a spinner ring. Whereas your six mil rounds, whether it's going to be a big beady bead, whether it's going to be necklaces, bracelets, earrings, whatever it might be, it's absolutely perfect. It fits the bill, doesn't it? It's just a great, great, great size. I think a great size for like a stretchy bracelet as well, Monica. It's, it's just, it just fits the bill, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, it's, it's one of those that's big enough to be part of a necklace, but also small enough to be in earrings. Or Absolutely. Something. And actually, the two different sizes are, are really nice to put together because then that gives you a bit more interest as well if you have the two different sizes in the same gemstone. Yeah. So if you were to make maybe a pair of earrings with two larger ones and then two slightly smaller ones, it's just, yeah. it gives you that sense of design. It's it very, very simple, very, very economical with your gemstones, very quick and easy to make. Dawn, Wendy, Elena, Isle of Wight's got two, London, Nina, Chloe, Lynn's got two, Tessa's got two, Lee's got two, goodness me, 19.99. It's gonna be a sellout today, well done. Loads of people coming through. We are gonna give you a significant saving on this right here right now all the way down everyone enjoy because today it's 9.99 ah it's a tenner i know amazing hey caroline anna well done loads of people yeah and and, and it's another meter it's another meter you're going to be getting here well done everyone jean elaine anna loads in baskets please start checking out otherwise you will be missing out today i don't want you to miss out this is the first time i've ever bought you green gold stone and i think one of the first times We've ever had it on the channel. So please do add it onto your order. Yeah, a bubble star bracelet. But use it with maybe your orange gold stone yeah. and the beautiful blue gold stone as well. You know, use them all together. Use them all together. Gorgeous. We've got both of these coming up as well. Brenda, Mary and Jerry, Tony, Elaine, Julie. Caroline's got two. Anna's got three now. Fantastic. Karen, Jennifer's got two. Helen, Dawn, well done to you. Gorgeous. Hi, Carol. The green is brilliant with tiger's eye, red onyx and opalite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, GSG is a great southern gathering. It's a weave. It's a chainmail weave. I didn't know. Thank you to the half a dozen of you that messaged in about what GSG is. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. I thought that's what they used in uh, kind of uh, fast food outlets to make food taste good. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh there you go oh, we thought it was a gauge of card did you ollie there you go jean well done you've got two fantastic glonus uh, gl monosodium glutamate glutamate msg that's it msg and i tell you what it tastes lovely on chips <laughs> but about half an hour after you've had it you get terrible stomach cramps it's kind of like oh the good with the bad, yeah. <laughs> do you want lovely chips or do you want, yeah. Or do you want te terrible stomach ulcer? Blue Goldstone six mil rounds, oh my gosh. It is good though, isn't it? Makes everything taste rounded. Okay, here we go. Blue, oh, this lovely inky, inky blue. It's like the, the beautiful night sky. I haven't seen the images yet. But apparently the best colour photographs of the world's most powerful telescope have been published today. Oh. It's called, it's named after somebody, the somebody, the somebody, it's called somebody. And uh, there we go, the James Webb Space Telescope, the first colour photograph. Now, get this. This is so cool. Can, can we show it or not? I don't know whether we can. Oh, back to Maine. Oh, no. Oh, continue. No, don't continue. Continue. <laughs> Here we go. Right, have a look. So here's one for you. And I know this is going slightly off, off topic, but I've, I, and I'm going to tell my children this fact later on so they just don't think that they are the centre of the universe. I love them, but there's a lot more to the world than just them. Right, so have a look at, have a look at this image here. Wow. Now, that is so cool, okay? The light you are looking at there, this is, this is crazy. The light you are looking at there is 30... Uh, 30 billion years in age. So that 
light that you're looking at there originated about 20 billion years before our planet existed. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. No, not 30, 13, 13 billion. Nine billion years before our planet was, you can get your head around that. 13 billion years in age, that light. No, our planet is 4.6 billion years. It said, th there we go, the oldest light from these objects dates back roughly 13 billion years. There you go, thank you, boom. So 13 billion years ago. Wow. This is real time. <laughs> this is real time. But isn't that crazy? That light originated before our planet actually existed. Ah! I'll stop it with the science because that's where my scientific knowledge ends. 9.99. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. I mean, that is just incredible, isn't it? I mean, I, 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 I find that amazing. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. A metre of gold, of blue gold stone, six millimetre rounds. Brenda, I think the reason why this hasn't sold out already, I think I've literally blown everybody's minds with that amazing fact. <laughs> Everyone's at home going, wow. Oh, wow. That, yeah, your ears and eyes are just bleeding. And yeah, ah, oh, ah. Oh. The knowledge. <laughs> oh, we all gone to join NASA and Mensa. <laughs> no. Uh, or maybe you've just fallen asleep <laughs> with my amazing facts. Anyway, 9.99. Deirdre, well done to you. Lee's got two. Brenda Morag, Marilyn, Elaine, Patricia. Well done. I have to say this one is probably my favourite colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got that wonderful, wonderful... Um, a wonderful midnight sky quality about it. I love looking up. I love, I love looking at the night sky. That's gorgeous. And um, yeah, to be able, to be able, <laughs> to be able to bring you this today, Nick, again, the six more rounds. Have a look at it with the, uh, the green. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Yeah, amazing. With your gorgeous green gold stone. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Superb. No, <laughs> let's do the goddy, 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 gold stone. Here it is. We've shown, we've shown the green gold stone necklace. It was beautiful. Gold, gold stone. Absolutely gorgeous. Four mil rounds. Oh, you little beauties. I love this colour. It's a really autumnal orange, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. That's nice. Again, nice with tiger's eyes. Someone messaged earlier, uh, um, earlier on about gold stone looking great with tiger's eyes. It absolutely does. It is like a terracotta uh, kind of uh, colour, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, like a lovely clay, isn't it? Just beautiful. Um, and I think in this, in this particular colour, the sparkle of the goldstone comes out even more. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Just beautiful. Um, actually, we've got this gorgeous strand here as well. Look at that. Look at that with your kind of, yeah. That looks like um, a train to me. I think it is. I don't know. It might not be. Looks like Amatrine though, doesn't that I mean if you kind of take, yeah, Amatrine maybe? I don't, I don't know, but it looks lovely with it though, doesn't it? Gorgeous, here we go. So gold, gold stone in four more rounds. Uh, Caroline, Maeve, Lynn, Susan, Marilyn, Carol, well done. Similar names coming through, which is great to see. Clearly you are collectors of this incredible material. Gorgeous, all man-made. So you get that really gorgeous consistency of uh, tone and everything through there, which is great to know. Okay, here we go. Phenomenal deal. Unbelievable, Jeff. All the way down. 8 99 for you today. Oh, my word. That's absolutely incredible. £8.99. Marilyn, well done to you. Carol, well done to you. Go, 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 go. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, we've got halo beads. I haven't even shown you those yet. Gee whiz. Okay, so we've got halo beads coming up. We've got gorgeous kits coming up. We've got a hematite coming up. We've got jade carvings coming up. We've got the gorgeous Cartier inspired Wallace Simpson kits coming up. We've got gorgeous natural sapphire and natural ruby uh, in a showcase as well. It's all coming up. Well done. Marilyn's uh, there. Well done to you as well. Biddison County Durham. Elaine, well done to you as well. £8.99. Well done. Go, 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 go. 
What an incredible, what an incredible deal. Well done to you, Christine. Well done to you, Elaine. Well done to you. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Right. Yeah, have a look at these holo beads. These are absolutely incredible. Look at this. <gasps> there they are. Oh, I see potential. We've got eight mil and 10 mil halo beads. Yeah, I reckon you could put, I mean, if we bring this necklace over, I know I've already shown it, but if we bring this necklace over here, just imagine that. Yeah? With the gorgeous um, eight mils, why not? Yeah, gorgeous. We've got, I mean, and they've got the beautiful little drill holes in them as well. Um, so you can uh, kind of have a bead suspended in the middle. We've got them in a slightly smaller size as well. Um, they're going to be coming up. They're all 925 sterling silver. Tell you what, the potential with these is huge, isn't it? It is. There are a lot of things you can do with those. Yep. Yeah, they're really, really fantastic. So they're going to be coming your way in the next hour as well. Uh, we've also got the gorgeous kits as well with the leather cord and the cup chain as well. We've got a hematite coming your way. We've got natural sapphire, natural ruby coming your way. Jade carvings coming your way. The very first um, reversible uh, jade carving that I think we've ever done uh, coming your way. Um, and we've also got the gorgeous Cartier Wallace Simpson inspired kits as well coming up at 12. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a second. Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
we're back. Oh, Monica, 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 you have made some absolutely gorgeous pieces here. And I have to say, jewellery like this is Jewelry like this is absolutely everywhere right now. These it lovely is. kind of is, yeah. contrasting wrap around yep. bracelets. They're just, they're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And I mean, they're great for men as well. I mean, I've been trying to convince my husband to wear a bracelet because he, he doesn't wear jewelry. He doesn't even wear his watch usually. I said, oh, mm. you've got to wear some jewelry. I make jewelry for a living. Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he it just wouldn't. And then when I was making these bracelets, he came along and he was looking at the plaited one and he see? said, oh, do you know, see that one I would wear. Let's see. <laughs> so my husband does wear bracelets occasionally, the ones that the kids have made him and stuff, but it's our, yeah. it's our wedding anniversary on June July the 23rd. And it's 11 years, so it's steel. So I've got him a lovely leather braided bracelet with a steel um stainless steel and oh, um a kind of element in it and i've got it with some roman numerals for our wedding oh, anniversary nice. on there yeah. but yeah, this i think is really it's dead unisex and of course yeah. it looks great like that the more you wear it the better it's going to look yeah yeah because it becomes it'll get part softer. of you yeah. yes it really does so we've got some gorgeous gorgeous kits coming up before we do that though we've got halo beads now Anything that you've got that is uh, cherished, I, I quite often think about, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, the analogy of a photograph, a photograph of uh, loved ones, you know, you and your, you and your family, yeah. And it's a gorgeous photograph, and it's cherished, and it's beautiful. How does it look more beautiful? Does it look more beautiful when it's stuck to the fridge with a magnet, or, or stuck on the wall with a piece of blue tack, or? when it's in a lovely frame, when it's in a lovely picture frame or it's on the wall and it's been made into a canvas or something, you know, something like that. And it's the latter, isn't it? It just looks more cherished. And I think that's what makes these rings so special. These are halo beads. They are absolutely beautiful. They're solid sterling silver. I really like that SS925 stamp that each one of these has got on there. Because I think we should celebrate the fact that this is sterling silver. I think we really should be looking at this and thinking, yeah, you know, come on, let's, let's really shout it from the rooftops that it's precious metal. You'll notice that each one of these rings has got a drill hole uh, kind of at the top and the bottom, or you could have it side to side if you want to. Um, they are, uh, each one of these um, uh, rings that you've got here is, is the same diameter. It's the big 10 mil size that you're going to be getting here. Now, we were looking at these on the break and we were looking at these with regards to, I mean, I showed you before the break, I showed it to you alongside the, um, the um, tubular netted necklace, which our in-house designers have made. But look at, um, look at it with the big, uh, with the big uh, green goldstone that we played in the last hour. It fits really comfortably, really, really comfortably within that ring doesn't it and it really highlights the quality of the bead it's going to allow the bead to move you know if you yeah. literally just put wire through that that part there pop the gemstone in there uh, we've got a slightly smaller ring as well which again the gemstone fits beautifully in as well that's the eight mil so we've got the um slightly um smaller size as well coming up but i think if you want to create focus or you want to make oh, yeah. a lovely ring it's a great way of doing that isn't it, it definitely it accentuates whatever you put inside it and then there's another way to use it as well you can actually turn it into a connector if you take two head pins and oh. put it through the holes from the inside out then you can connect it to in the middle of a bracelet or something like that and actually uh, looks really interesting because you can't picture in your head how the thread goes through. Yes. So it, it creates a little um, sort of like a double take when somebody sees it. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like the, the kind of the, the ring is kind of floating in that, yeah. in that design. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you, lovely. That's great. Let's see. I don't know whether this is going to work. I think these gems might be slightly too big, but let's just, oh, no, they're perfect. Yeah, yeah. So anyone who came through to get the gorgeous lavender amethyst um, a little bit earlier on, your lavender amethyst fits onto here absolutely beautifully, as you can yeah. see. So, yeah, just literally have it suspended in the middle of your bead. Absolutely gorgeous. But I do love Monica's idea about being able to um, kind of use it in the middle of a bracelet with a head pin coming from the inside and going out. And then the same on the other side. A, a flat top head pin it would need to be. And then it looks like it's just suspended yeah, in the middle of a floating, bracelet, yeah. maybe. It's just gorgeous. Now, these are all 925 sterling silver. You're going to be getting three of these in total. It's just going to add that really lovely finish to your jewellery designs. 
And when you think of designer um, uh, designer inspiration, like you know, um, uh, you know the big designers out there like Cartier, Bulgari, Gucci, using lovely kind of rings. Um, this this is this is very much in keeping with those kind of designs. Use it in whichever way you want. It's just described as a halo um, uh, bead. But if you want to use it, uh, you know, you want to use it in a slightly different way, then you absolutely can do. Use it to frame a gemstone, but use it in the centre of a design, maybe. Um, I mean, it's a great way to add sterling silver to even something like a stretchy bracelet. Yeah. There's no reason you can't put it in a stretchy bracelet. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Teresa in Devon's got two of these already. Nottinghamshire's got three loads. Maker in Renfrewshire's got three loads. Um, they're all 925 sterling silver. Well done. Gillian's just multi-buying. So is Ruby as well. That's great to see. Well done to you, Linda in Yorkshire. Almost every single one of you multi-buying two or three packs of these, which is really great to see. Brenda's just got three loads. Well done to you. London's just got two loads. Well done. Nottinghamshire's got three loads. Well done now price point wise very difficult to kind of put a price on these isn't it because it's not a clearly defined component as in this is a head pin and this is what you must use your head pin for you can use these in a multitude of different ways um just having a, a lovely gemstone in here like the gorgeous lavender amethyst we bought you in the first hour absolutely gorgeous you know and it, it will go on there beautifully and you just look at one gemstone one gemstone that looks so nice doesn't it one gem oh yeah look there's a sterling silver halo bead necklace that's really nice just with the chain going through it that's really nice yeah i suppose you could just put a jump ring through it that's 34 pounds that's a great idea you know actually that doesn't even go through the um uh, loop does it it goes it go through the middle of the loop rather than yeah. through the kind of any kind of little apertures on the uh, on the ridge of the uh, of the bead absolutely gorgeous let's do a crazy 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 deal for you today here we go everyone um, I would say, hmm, I would say, because they're beautifully polished, they've been drilled, they've got that aperture, size-wise, gorgeous, all precious metal, for all three, 15 quid. I was going to say five pounds each. Yeah. Five pounds each? Yep. No? <laughs> Nearies. <laughs> he says that we're too jewellery maker. <laughs> our jewellery maker prices are uh, polluting our minds and there's no way we can do £15. Caroline, you've got three loads. Linda, Carola, you've got two. Actually, I'm just thinking about those gorgeous white South Sea pearls we bought you yesterday. The white South Sea yeah. pearls would look absolutely... Oh, green and blue. Oh, gosh, no, empty. Oh, no, black and purple. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> oh, seven ninety nine. What happened there, Adam? <laughs> Let's just move on. Seven ninety nine. Well done, Caroline's up to order. Well done to Jennifer, Susan, Lisa. Well done to you, Leslie's got four loads. Linda in Essex, you've got two loads. Well done. These are absolutely flying out the door, aren't they? Brilliant. Well done. Yours today for seven pounds and ninety nine pence. They are absolutely flying. Text us. What are you going to be doing with yours? And what's so great? What's so great about these is is of, of course what Monica would do with these. What I would do with these. What Dan would do with these what I don't know guest designer Claire would do with these they're all completely different aren't they all completely different that's what's so wonderful about these I do like components like this which you look at and go well I could use it as that but I could also use it as that but I could use it as this and I could use it as that it's so cool isn't it I mean if I have a head pin I was going to say if you've got any head pins um, else I can show uh, lovely Kinger have you got any in there do you reckon I do I just oh she has got some head pins I okay. have I just need to. Okay, here we go. Just a couple. Uh, try and get a silver one. Because yeah. there's something else you can do with it as well. Seven ninety nine for all three of these today. It's just great, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Super duper. Well, there's one for you. Thank you, lovey. So yeah. So what Monica was kind of discussing prior to uh, kind of this is popping a one. head pin of either side. Oh, well done. You've even gone for the flat top ones. That's very clever. Here we go. So literally getting one of these and attaching it into the middle of a bracelet like that. Then you've got the bracelet there, the bracelet there, and you can't really see how that has been connected into the bracelet. It's just, it's just that negative space, isn't it? Yeah. Negative space, and you can see that, oh, that lovely SS 925. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. Go on, Monica, what are you gonna show, well, this lovely? This is another thing that you can do with it. If, if you're making earrings, lovely for connector. example, is to hang it like that. 
Oh, that looks nice. I didn't really press, modern. Didn't push the head pin all the way in. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> and then really you, can, you can still like do a that. connector at the bottom and dangle something from the bottom, or you could just leave it like that because that looks really nice as well. You don't have to put, just because it's, it's for a 12, uh, 10 mil bead, doesn't mean you have to put a 10 mil bead inside of it. So there's lots of things you can do with that. And you can see as well, sorry, I'm just literally looking here as well. It says on the, um, it says on the bit, if we can, I don't know how close you can get, Dan, but let's make sure this is the right way up. I don't think it is, actually. There it is. Oh, can you see on the recording? Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. 925 S. So that's silver 925. Absolutely gorgeous. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Well done. 0800. Six triple four six double five. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Great way to frame your gemstones. Great way to frame your pieces. Great way to pick out any kind of uh, detail and to make a feature of, 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 of kind of whatever you want to put with it. And just looks absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Superb. Right, let's do these eight mils. These ones are slightly smaller now. Okay. So these ones are ever so slightly smaller. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this will go in. I don't know. We'll have a go. So these ones are 8 mil in size. This might work. It might not work. It'll definitely go through the... Oh, my gosh, it does. Oh, I've gone for the, I've gone for the wrong size. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Here we go. That's the one. That's the badger. Here we go. So these ones are slightly smaller. I just think they're, they're really... They're going to make such a lovely feature. Very... And it's so easy to use as well, isn't it, Monica? It is, and I think? wonder if you can put the smaller one inside of the larger one. Or the two oh, rings. Oh, oh, now you're double. talking. Let's <laughs> Sorry, have a look. Oh, Monica. <laughs> yeah, now you're making me make jewellery now. <laughs> Actually make jewellery. Oh, gosh. Let's try. That goes through there. Get in there. Or I'm going to get cross. Right, you go there. <laughs> and then you go there. Monica, if this doesn't work, you are... Oh, it does! Oh, my gosh! Look at this! Oh! Oh, and this oh it spins! Monica, you're a oh, genius! Look, look at that! <laughs> oh, my word! That is incredible! What do you reckon, Neary? Goodbye, Carol. Where are you? Come and look at this! This is Monica's idea. Look, come here. You need to see this. Look. <laughs> Can you see the 10 mil, the 8 mil, and a bead in the no middle? Way. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm cook Ollie, I'm going to ruin your shot. It's not Ollie, it's. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, look at him. He's leaning. Isn't that awesome? I like that. It's like a gorgeous kind of globe, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yes, I love it. Monica, <laughs> you're a genius. <laughs> right, come on. Oh, so who's your remarks? Oh, yeah. oh. oh. See, Mark didn't do that with these. <laughs> Mark didn't do that. <laughs> He's away on holiday at the minute. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can get away with that. <laughs> Text him from Mark Smith. <laughs> How dare you? But I, I think that's great, Monica. Yeah, your like little it. face. No. Like, oh, I can. I'm right, I'm, I'm, I got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Should be a light bulb. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get to wear a crown for the rest of the show. Oh, brilliant. Right. There you go, everyone. Okay, so these ones are slightly smaller. Come on, gang along. Six ninety nine for you today. Yeah. Well done. You get the bigger ones. You've got to get the smaller ones. You've got to get there. And also, can I just say, all of the hematite with these as well is just going to look the absolute bomb oh, as well, yes. isn't it? It's just going to look great. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 655. What a great deal for you today. Oh, my word. These are just brill, aren't they? Well done. So, yeah, these ones are slightly smaller, but you know what? They are. They, they go with the larger ones so beautifully. Yeah, planet jewellery yeah. with these. Gorgeous. So if you've got a favourite stone... Or I know of certain people as well who um, kind of get um, ashes set into resin, into lovely resin beads. If you want to put one of those inside um, two of these. Fantastic idea, Monica. Read the spinners, uh, says Maeve. Yeah, wasn't it just inspirational? Uh, Six ninety nine 99 for you today. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done. Absolutely superb. You get your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not going to need it, though. Six ninety nine 99 for three of these bad boys. 
Love that jewelry that um, uh, that jewelry with the spinners in. And you can just see it just highlights the centre yeah. of that design, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. Great idea for earrings when using the last beads on a strand. Yes. yes. And you know what? It might be the beads that you've put to one side going, I'm going to do something special with those. Mm. I'm going to keep those to one side because I really like those particular ones. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Well done at just £6.99. Well done. Beverly Jack's office. Names and names and names. So many names coming through. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Go, go, go. Absolutely fantastic. 25 opportunities remaining at just £6.99. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Superb. Loads of people already um, uh, checking out twos, threes, fours. But if you do want to multi-buy, just go for it because you are not going to be short of ideas of how to use these. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, there's a need to tie a knot in that now. But yeah, just fantastic. And the fact that it's solid sterling silver as well is yeah. just even better, isn't it, Monica? Oh, definitely. Yeah, gorgeous. Well done. They're all going to sell out. Fantastic. Right, moving on. Okay, yes. So, kits. Oh, Monica. So, let's put all the kits on pre-order. Come on, Neary. Let's do it. He's done it. He done it. He done it now. There you go. There's your head pin, Levy. Oh, thank you. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. There's a couple of spare gold stones in there as well. Lovely. Okay. Which one? This big one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you might gonna have, you, you are going to have a bit of an issue getting this leather cord into the end caps. However, I have seen people kind of almost cut down the yeah. leather cord, which I know you can do, yeah, you can't can do you? That. Yep. Yeah. So I just wanted to be transparent with you because this leather cord is seriously thick. Your um, cord, your cord endings that you're going to be getting here are absolutely gorgeous. Silver plated base metal with your lobster claw clasps. There we go. So you've got how many of these? You've got 10 of those, but it doesn't matter if the cord doesn't fit really because I'm going to show you a way to make a cord ending. Oh. Um, and also, I mean, obviously you still have the clasps in there. So even if you ignore the cord endings, you've still got 10 clasps in there. Yes, absolutely. And of course, the cord Good endings, idea. you can use you can use it in the other kits for your um, other cords or, or any other cords that you might have. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. It's a good thing to have in your stash, definitely. Absolutely. So 10 of your uh, 10 of your cord uh, endings. You've also got your cup chain. Now we've got one, two cup chains with like gorgeous, uh, bright red and with your gorgeous, uh, how are we describing this? Red and orange uh, kind of um, uh, crystals going through there. This cup chain is just gorgeous stuff. It, it's so malleable. It really drapes beautifully. It's really, art it, it kind of articulates beautifully as well. You also get a gorgeous strand of beryl. And you get these wonderful tubular carriers as well. These are great. You get them in different sizes, don't you? Well, you get two different ones, yeah. Two so you get these. Yeah. A com okay. So you've got your uh, four by nine, which are these bad boys here. And... Four by nine and seven by eight. There we go. Yes, perfect. Okay. I think. Um, is that right? So you've got your so you've got your shorter ones, yeah. and then you've got your kind of taller, slimmer ones as well. Yeah. Now those will fit on the cord quite easily. So. Yes. In fact, nice. On one of the necklaces, I got eight. two two goes of the cord through with the smaller the smaller space. That's fantastic. So seven by eight and three by eight. There we go. Thank you for that. There we go. Brilliant. There's your cup chain. I love what you've done with this cup chain here. I think this is yeah, really, really clever. that was another sort of like a little light bulb moment. Because yeah. all I did was I just attached one end of the cup chain to the cord and then I twisted it around uh, and then attached the other end. So it looks great, Monica. It looks really, really cool. And then round the back, you've got your cord end that you've made. Yes. Which and your great. clasp as well, which is absolutely ingenious. Um, £29 and 99 pence. Ruby's already got two of these. Well done to you. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. Sharon, Renfrewshire, Beverly, well done to you. Oh, brilliant. Well done at £29 and 99 pence. We've got a bit of a uh, bit of something to play with here as with regards to the price point. So we're going to give you a saving. Um, this is actually quite a big price crash for what you're going to be getting here. 
Um, but it literally is as low as we can go. OK, this is as low as we can physically go. Greater London's through. That's wonderful. Well done, North Yorkshire's got three in their basket. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. 21 99 for all of these components. That is a, that is a really component heavy kit, isn't it? Is, it? It is. There's a lot in this kit. Yeah. I mean, how much have I made? I've made the two necklaces and the bracelet. And yeah. I mean, I used up yeah, about... This. Uh, one and a half strands of the um, of the cup chain, yeah. but I've hardly touched the cord. Um, you know, so I've got loads left of that kit after. So these two necklaces here, also made with the cord. I had to. I tell you what, this big thick leather cord really comes into its own, doesn't it? It looks it does. really fantastic. I love it with the beryl as well. I think it looks really. It, it's a lovely contrast again between the delicate quality of the beryl. Um, uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Just look at the way that moves as well. Isn't that yeah. lovely? And again, it will get softer as you wear it, so it's not going to yeah. be so, um, stiff yeah, nice after one. a while. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, yes. Lynn, Liz, Sharon, Gabrielle, well done to you. Gorgeous. Okay, next kit. Let's do. Which one should we do? Citrini one. Yes, it's this one here. I think this kit's absolutely gorgeous. Love this. Okay, so this kit here. Yes. It's that one. Move these out the way. There we go. Lots of jewellery today. Okay, so Citrini coloured. Oh, no, it's more of a champagne coloured uh, cup chain, actually. Then you've got a strand of golden obsidian. Oh, my gosh, that's lovely. Then you've got a strand of citrine. Whoa! Then you've got your leather cords. Now, we've got them in tan, in grey, and in black. These are gorgeous. They're flat leather cords that you're going to be getting here. And it's a metre in each. They smell absolutely amazing. Um, it smells like a tack shop. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, it, of course, it looks quite rigid and quite stiff here and kind of unconditioned. But, the, of course... As Monica's mentioned, and as I've mentioned, the more you wear it, the softer it gets and the yeah. more kind of pliable and supple. And it's, it's like anything. It's like it's like a, a leather jacket or a leather sofa or a pair of leather shoes or, you know, whatever it might or a watch strap. Um, the more you wear it, the better it, the kind of softer and more pliable and malleable it gets. So Monica's made and it's so lovely, these kind of contrasts of textures and mediums here. These three pieces here. These kind of pieces are everywhere at the minute. If you go onto Etsy, not on the high street, if you go anywhere and kind of type in wrap around leather bracelets, these are the kind of things you'll be able to find. And plaited braided pieces like this, again, are everywhere. I was looking yesterday at a, uh, an anniversary gift for my husband. And yeah, these kind of, these bracelets for guys are absolutely everywhere right now, whether it's, whether it's Hermes, whether it's uh, Todd's, whether it's uh, Tom Ford, whether it's Mont Blanc, or whether it's, uh, you know, Thomas Sabo, you know, all of these kind of bracelets, they are so, so, so big right now. Matching the price point, here we go. All the way down to $21.99. And you get two strands of your gemstones as well, the yes. golden obsidian and the citrine as well. Liz Nicolette, Angela Sydney, well done to you. Liz, fantastic, well done. 0800 644 Uh They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And that plaited bracelet, such a simple design. Look at that with the lovely... Ah, <laughs> with the little bead caps that you've made, the little kind of end caps that you've made there. Very, very clever. Look at the sparkliness of that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's such, really nice. Such a nice colour combination. I think the grey and the, and the tan and the black together, they work brilliantly. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's got a really lovely feel to it, hasn't it? Well done, Liz, Nicolette, Angela, Sydney. Well done. 21 99 for you today. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Superb. Right, OK. Um, next, let's do purpley one with the gorgeous. Yeah, here we go. So we've got light kind of amethyst, kind of lavender coloured cup chain. Then you've got a cup chain in like a clear crystal, which is gorgeous. They're meter lengths that you're going to be getting of this cup chain. Absolutely gorgeous stuff, by the way. You've got your leather uh, cord with this lovely pearlescent yes. kind of uh, cream color. And then a strand of lapidolite. Wow. Wow. Um, the lavender fields are most definitely out at the minute. And this is very much that kind of lavender feel, isn't it? It's, it's got that really gorgeous kind of fresh floral feel. Um, and I would say as well, just kind of bear in mind later on, we've got coming up beautiful um, hematite. So if you want to put your hematite pieces with this as well, we've got them in rounds, we've got them in gorgeous coins. You know, if you want to kind of intensify that purple color a little bit more than you absolutely can do. OK, here we go. Were you given this kit? You weren't given this kit, no, were you? I wasn't. No. Let's get that price point all the Yes, please, Neri. That would be amazing. 
Okay, here we go, all the way down, everybody. Loving this cup chain. It's just such lovely, lovely draping. It's a really easy way to add sparkle to your jewellery. Yes. Because you don't have to worry about small components. It's one large um, component that you can easily add to anything. And Absolutely. I mean, just if you just make a simple bracelet just with the, with the cup chain on its own, that's mm. really beautiful as well. £14.99 pence for you today. Gabrielle, Liz, Jan, Jill, Pauline, Alison, well done. £14.99 for such a gorgeous kit. It's beautiful, isn't it? And if you just kind of literally just kind of forget about everything else and just get the cup, just look at that. Oh, yes. As beautiful bracelets, you know, there's lots of proms happening at the minute and, yes. you know, lots of kind of summer balls and galas happening at the minute. You know, this really gives you the look, the fresh look of uh, gorgeous kind of ice white diamonds, doesn't it? But of course, for a fraction of the price, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Uh, let's do beautiful blues now. This one is a really, really lovely kit. This has got the same kind of pearlescent cream leather cord going through it. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, you can use with the cord ends that we bought you in the first kit. Yes. You've then got black coloured crystal cup chain. Really lovely. And then this lovely kind of almost French blue as well. Like that a lot. And then a strand of blue chalcedony. It actually looks like blue lace agate, but let, let's go with blue chalcedony. Blue chalcedony faceted four millimetre rounds. Gorgeous. This is going to make really beautiful jewellery, which I think, although it's sparkly, it's also quite subtle. It's quite light. It's not too dramatic in its colour palette, is it? It is. I think it's, uh, it's really nice for uh, sort of day wear. Yeah, but then, yeah, nice. But then you've got the cup chain. So depending on what sort of combination you use, the cup chain makes it more evening-y. So Definitely. You know, this kit can go either way, really. Great for bridal jewellery, I think, as yes. well. I think that would work really nicely if you kind of maybe take this one out and then replace it with the white crystal that we bought you in the last kit. Mm -hmm. You've got something really lovely and bridal there, but the black is so lovely. And as Monica quite rightly says, it makes it more evening-y. Rachel Maker, Nicolette, Sydney, Pamela, Liz, well done to you. Fourteen ninety nine again. These are bundled prices for proper big kits, component heavy kits. Gorgeous. Well done to you, my lovelies. Check out Wiltshire's coming through, Gabrielle's coming through in the West Midlands. Well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. At £14.99. And 99 pence. Well done. Go, 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 go. What a brilliant deal for you today. Absolutely gorgeous. Make a Liz is back through. That's great. Well done to you. Fantastic. Go, go, go. What a great deal. And the cup chain is going to go on and on, on. And also yeah. the leather cord as well. You get so much of it, don't you? Gorgeous. OK. OK, next. Final kit. Oh, this is so lovely. Fluorite. Oh, nice colour cord. Yeah, wow. it is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Bright cobalt blue, like a sapphire blue cup chain. Lovely, almost like a smoked amethyst kind of colour here. And then you get your turquoise leather cord as well. The leather cord, by the way, you get two metres of. You know, this is really quite impressive, isn't it? Uh, love the purples and the greens and the blues all together in here. It works really well. Fourteen ninety nine. That's where we are at the minute. Yes, I love that. But neary has got something uh, up his sleeve for you. We shouldn't be doing that. And it was clearance yesterday, Neary. <laughs> it was clearance yesterday, love. No, it's clearance today as well. <laughs> we may as well. Nine ninety nine. Have a go. Give it a go. Anne, Liz, Gabrielle, Cheryl. Oh my word! Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. That's absolutely superb. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Loads of people through. Liz has got three that she's just got. Well done, Maker. Rachel. Well done to you as well. Now, demo wise, what are you going to show us, Lavi? Well, I'm quickly going to show you how to uh, do this this bracelet. Really, just. Mostly oh, just how to attach the, um, the cup chain to the leather cord because mm -hmm. I think we haven't haven't shown anything like that before. Um, so I've got my leather cord here. A uh, quick little tip is don't try to cut the leather cord, the thicker leather cords, with your scissors because you're not going to be able to. Mm -hmm. So just use your your wire cutters because they work really well. Yeah. So just that's really easy to cut with the with the wire cutters. So for this bracelet, I would cut four strands of my leather. A little bit longer than what you want your bracelet to be. You don't need too much extra. You can also do this by attaching it to your macrame board, but I found it easier to do just holding it in my hand. Okay, then I'm going to use a little bit of fire line, mostly because I use fire line for pretty much everything, but you could use other thin threads uh, that you have uh, for this 
as well. Okay. And then I'm just going to start off by attaching this fire line to one end of one strand of my leather cord. So now I'm starting with a leather cord that is next to the cup chain in the middle of the bracelet. So not the outer cords, this is the inner cord. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a triple knot just to make sure it's really well attached. Okay. And I've got a needle threaded on the other end, again, just to make it easier to thread uh, my cord. And then I'm first going to start by attaching my cup chain. Okay. So this is the, the, the simplest bit, the first bit. So just look at your cord first because your cord has a side and it has a top. So I use the shiny bit um, as the, the sort of the top, but you could use it sideways as well. It's about the same size uh, each way. So all you're going to do is you're going to hold your cup chain next to your cord, hold it towards the end so you've got one, one uh, stone yeah. on the other side of your thread. Okay. So your thread comes in between the two. And then all you're going to do is you're going to wind the thread around your cup chain and your leather cord. Just hold your cup chain so it sits next to your cord side, yeah. side on. So not with the back against the cord, but with the side against your leather cord. Okay. And so for the first length, you're just going to go around your cup chain and your cord. Sorry, I have to have my fingers over the top of it. That's okay, just hold it. Place, place, you can fine. imagine what I'm doing here. So you're just twisting your cord. Don't worry about your needle at this point, but you do want your needle to be on there because, it's, mm. because you won't be able to let go um, when you finish this sort of end. So you just go around, going in between each of the stones twisting it around. So this is a really easy sort of way to do it. Okay, so when you've done the, the length that you want for your bracelet, okay, well then what you're going to do is now you want to attach the other cord. Okay, so pretend you've reached all the way to the other end of your bracelet. Oh, I've got tangled up a little bit here. Okay, so now let's say we're at the other end of the bracelet, so now we want to attach the second cord. Okay, so you want to line up your second cord with your first cord so that the ends are sitting in the same position. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and you're going to do essentially the same thing again with the other cord and the cup chain, but obviously you can't just twist it around now because this cord will be in the way. So you want to use your needle and you want to go around the cord. Okay, so, wait, so just check where your cord is at the moment. It's between the two uh, stones of the cup chain. So come around there and then you want to go down the other side of the cup chain. So essentially you're doing the same thing, you're twisting your thread around the cord and the cup chain. So make sure it sits between the cup chain links. Then you want to go into the next link, so go down after the next link. Obviously you take a bit more time with this at home, do it a bit more carefully, so make sure that your uh, cord all sits nice and flat and your threads sit nicely in between your stones, just like that. So basically you're twisting your thread again around your cup chain and around your second length of leather. Okay. Also, if you're starting at the very end and not in the middle of your cord like I'm doing here, so once you've got to the end, it becomes a little bit easier. So just keep your thread tight to make sure that it's all held together. So can you see how it's coming together there? Yeah. So just keep going on to the next, next, stone until you get back to the other end okay so I'm just going to jump ahead a few stones here just pretend I've attached every stone just for the sake of speed here so you carry on like that all the way along until you've attached your cup chain to both strands of your leather okay and then I'll quickly show you how to attach the gemstones and the next lot of leather. Uh -huh. Right. So now what you're going to do, you're going to bring in, um, at this point what I did was I actually tied a knot. So I went under my, let me just do the last one here. So your last go around your cup chain. So what I did at this point was I just tied a couple of half hitch knots. So go under this thread, tie a couple of knots in your thread just to hold everything together. So at this point, if you let go, then it doesn't all fall apart. Ah. Okay, so just to secure your thread, but don't cut it off because you're still going to use it for your for the rest of it. Okay, so tie that there. Then you're going to bring in your brown leather cord. Okay, and then you're going to bring in your gemstones. So now what you want to do here 
is you want to pick up one of your gemstones. Oh, if you can find the hole. Okay, and then you want to go, so you're starting off on the black cord here. So pick up a gemstone, bring it up next to your bracelet, and then you want your thread to go under your brown leather. Okay, then you're going to come around your brown leather, you're going to go through the gemstone again, and then you're going to go under the black cord. Okay, so that's going to attach your gemstone to the brown leather, and then you're going to come up in between the next two um, stones of your cup chain, but on this side next to the black leather. Okay, so that's going to attach your first stone in the top there. Okay, then you're going to do the same again, so pick up another gemstone. Oh. Of course, I found I'm using the gemstone that's hardest to see from half a, <laughs> half a meter away. <laughs> oh, where the hole is because it's sparkly as well. We've got so many lights in here. Give me a second. There we go. I got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so you bring your next gemstone down again. Now make sure you go under the brown leather. So you go underneath like that. And then you go back through your gemstone. And then you go, oh, and then I can't find the hole again. There we go. And then you go under the black leather again. So the end of your needle is always going down underneath the leather. Okay, then you can use your needle to position the thread on this side just to make them sort of like a little, quite nice and even, evenly spaced there. Okay, and then again, you're going to come up through the next two stones of your cup chain. Okay, and you're just going to carry on like that all the way along. Okay, if I bring the bracelet along, I can show you quickly. So you can see, um, so I attached the gemstones on that side and then I come back and do the same thing on the other side. And then obviously what I'm going to end up with at the end is I'm going to have, four, and then you just finish off your thread on the end. So you tie a few knots into your fire line and that all holds it all together just like that. So you've got your four strands done then. Yeah. With your two lots of uh, gemstones on either side and you're going to end up with four of your cords. Okay. The and then I'll quickly show you if I have another couple of minutes how to do the end of that. So you just need, mm -hmm. I use a bit of 0.6 millimeter wire and I've used my bail making pliers. You could use your uh, roundness pliers if you don't have bail making pliers. Uh, okay. What you need to do is whichever cord that you're making an end for, so here I've got my four cord ends, you want to find um, a space on your pliers that is about the same thickness as your cords. So on these pliers it would be the fourth step up, okay. So I'm just going to use my 0.6 millimeter wire and I'm going to create basically a gizmo coil. Okay, so just keep turning and turning and turning and turning. You can make it as long uh, a coil or a short coil as you want, as, you, as long as you have sort of at least five, five turns in your coil there. Okay, so just keep going. Gorgeous. Um, okay. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, chop that off. You can also use your gizmo coil. You can use your gizmo coiler to make a, a bunch of these and then you have them handy. Okay, and I've got a little bit of a straight piece at the bottom here, so I'm just going to chop that off quickly. Right, so you have a little spring like that. That's yep. going to be your cord ending. So you're going to take your cords once your bracelet is made and just take a little time to arrange them so that you have the brown cords underneath the two black cords, just like that. Okay, so because that's how it's going to look nice if you look at the end of that one. Okay, and then hold them all together. Make sure they're all the same length. Cut them with your pliers again to make them the same length. And then what you still want to do quickly uh -huh. is you want to just flatten the ends a little bit. Okay, so that they fit into your into your little coil, just like that. Then you're going to take uh -huh. your coil. You're going to put it over them like that. Okay, and then what you want to do is, you see the last coil here where the coil ends? Yeah. You're going to take that and you're going to squish it flat. So hold your pliers so that they're over just that one coil. That's all going to spring out of my hand because I'm doing it on live telly. But <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's easier if you hold it the other way that way because then it can't fly off the end. Okay, so just squish that last coil tight. Take a bit of time over it so that your, your leather doesn't sort of uh, move it out of place. So it just keeps squishing until that last coil goes flat. Okay? And then that's going to be tight on there. 
because this last coil is going to hold it. You can push it further in. Ah, okay. You can jiggle around with it a little bit to make it look neater. Okay, so you've got your cord end on there. And then to make a loop, all you're going to do is you're going to find, so you've got your last coil which ends here on this side. So you want to find, you want a full circle and you want to kind of lift up the last coil. So I just do it with my nail, it's the easiest, but you can use a, a pair of scissors or a knife if that helps. Uh -huh. And then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to lift the last coil. I will show you from the side in a second. So you want to lift it up like so. Again, take your time with it at home to make it look quite neat. So that creates yeah. your loop at the end. So you've turned your, your last coil to face upwards. So you've, uh -huh. got your, so you've got a loop at the end and you've got your cords all held together nicely. Um, just like that. Clever. So you can do that for any size cord. You can do it for the thicker cord as yeah. well. Uh, you just need to work out the size of this, the little coil that you need to make. Very cool. Okay. Well done. Thank you, Monica. That's it, really. Gorgeous. How lovely. Really fantastic and just great that you can uh, kind of get over that kind of, you know, larger cord and kind of how you're going to be able to set it um, uh, kind of in those, in those cord ends. And they're really sweet. They're really lovely kind of um, fashioning them yourself. I think they work yeah. really well. Yeah. You? Gorgeous, <laughs> right, start by time for some gorgeous heart-shaped turquoise. Now, I'm just looking at these and I'm thinking about these um, with the gorgeous halo beads that we bought you in the last, well, sorry, no, it was in this hour, wasn't it? Yes. These are just gorgeous. And um, turquoise is one of those stones which is so highly revered around the world. And it seems to have had a huge impact on whoever, you know, all, all, all of the kind of ancient civilizations that come into contact with it, whether it's the ancient Americas, whether it's the ancient um, uh, uh, Egyptians, whether it's people in the, uh, you know, over in the Far East, the ancient Japanese and Chinese, it, it features in so many um, kind of museum pieces that you will see or artifacts that are found. Um, you'll see Tutankhamun, his, his death mask, or his sarcophagus with lapis lazuli, carnelian, and of course, turquoise in there. Uh, you'll see beautiful Chinese bi symbols, which are kind of ne Neolithic, really, which are made out of gorgeous Chinese turquoise. Um, it's, a, it's a traditional gift given to um, Peruvian uh, children. Uh, and the bigger they get, you know, as they grow up, they get given bigger pieces of turquoise, but it's a gemstone. It's, it's a talisman. It's not just there to kind of protect you. It's there to give you and bestow its wearer, you know, give its wearer certain powers, certain energies. Here's, here's Tutankhamun. There he is. Look at that turquoise in his beard. Absolutely beautiful. And you see the little kind of almost rods, the little kind of almost um, slices of it going around kind of his breastplate as well. Um, it really is quite incredible, isn't it? That, that you know, that, that, that gemstone is the very same gemstone that was used here. And actually, interestingly enough, that, that would have been mined in the Sinai Peninsula, um, uh, which is where turquoise gets its name from. The, uh, the name comes from um, uh, two words, Turkish stone. And what you've got here is, is, is said to be one of the closest living relatives of that Turkish stone. Um, and you've got it in the most beautiful hearts. Look at that. Oh. We have had one more strand in heart shapes before. Okay, one other strand. Very, very special indeed. Will it fit into the eight mil bead? I should imagine so because it's got that size. Yeah, absolutely it will do. That fits in absolutely beautifully, doesn't it? You can see it there. Oh. Doesn't that look gorgeous? That's just so sweet. In fact, there's probably room for a little two mil bead above and below that. Maybe yeah. a little seed bead, maybe. Or you can do it like uh, we Monica. did with the, with the uh, four millimetre round. So just sort of dangle it from the top. Ah, yes, that's a great idea. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, just dangle it from the top there. Absolutely gorgeous. Heart turquoise jewellery is, 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 is not cheap. Uh, you will find, you will see these pieces that we're about to kind of flash up with price comparisons on. £145 and 27 pence. 
Uh, it's reduced from £290, actually. It's 50% off. A solitaire heart-shaped turquoise necklace, 14 karat gold heart-shaped blue zircon uh, pendant, turquoise heart pendant, everyday jewellery, Mother's Day gift. And you can see all the keywords in there, every keyword imaginable in there. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, here it is. It kind of bezel set. You could use the gorgeous um, uh, clasonage um, uh, wire we had yesterday, the gorgeous kind of bezel uh, wire that we've done in the past. Turquoise heart gold necklace, £61.11. pence. These are actually brilliant, I think, because they're drilled from top to bottom. So very easy to put it on a headpin and just make a little loop on top so it'll sit really beautifully. This one here, uh, sterling silver turquoise heart pendant, £49. Um, £3.50 delivery. That's really lovely. Gorgeous. Um, very, very similar to the look you've got here. Now, this is genuine turquoise. It's just been stabilised. Um, um, and it's double A quality. We've only ever had this once before and it absolutely flew out. Turquoise always flies out the door. Um, Heart-shaped turquoise, ah, even more, even more, even more attractive, even more, even more kind of appealing. Um, so you've got here two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, there's 27 hearts on here. Wow. 27 hearts. They're selling one hearts for 50 pounds. Uh, it is bezel set into sterling silver. You can absolutely replicate that design there. No problem whatsoever. So this strand should be 1,000, how much? 350 pounds, yeah? Yeah? No, of course it's not. <laughs> it's double A quality turquoise. The quality is absolutely there. You can tell very, very... Uh, obviously, that this is beautiful quality. It hasn't. It's not. It's not uh, reconstituted. It's literally just been stabilised. That just means it's had a clear resin kind of wax kind of component put on the outside of um, of the uh, of the gemstone just to stop the turquoise from soaking up the natural oils in your skin. It's like putting a top coat on it just to there to seal it because if it does soak up the natural oils in your skin over time. The turquoise will discolour and go a horrible brown colour. Uh, morning, JM lovelies. Could the shape... Could, could you shape the halo bead around the heart? Ooh. I don't know. What do you reckon? Because that is... I mean, it's going to... I mean, you can see it fits inside there. No problem whatsoever. Yeah. That fits inside... No, the, uh, I, I think the customer's asking whether you could hammer the bezel around the bit. I'd, I'd probably use bezel wire for that. I, I personally would anyway. You could also use your gallery wire bits as well. Oh, you could use gallery wire. Yeah, you could use gallery wire. That would be, yeah, now that would be a more sensible thing to do, I think. Brenda, make on the Isle of Wight's got three, Brenda. Carol, Angela, Catherine, Sarah, Susan, well done to you. 99.99 is, it, 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 is not what you're paying today. Nowhere near what you're paying. It's such a popular gemstone. It's a gemstone which is loved and adored all over the world. And, of course, in the heart shape as well. It's that universal symbol of love, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, just gorgeous. How about we show you another price which you're not paying today? OK, we're at 99.99. Loads of you there. Just put it in your basket. You're happy with the price. You're happy uh, with the strand, whatever you're happy with. Just pop it in your basket. Pop it in your basket. Well done, Liz in Surrey. Fantastic. Well done to you. Carolyn Barks is there. Angela in Devon. You're there as well. That's great. Well done to you. OK, Se uh, six seconds and then we're going to be giving you that incredible price point. Three, two, one. All the way down. Oh, my word. Absolutely incredible. Go, 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 go. All the way down. Joy, Liz. Ah, well done, Sonika. Well done to you as well. £61.11. pence. Ooh, that is brilliant. That is incredible. I've got faith in your designs here at Joymaker. I know you're going to be able to make incredible pieces using this incredible strand. And all we're doing here is just showing you that, it, that, 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 that price point uh, that we've just seen for that gorgeous turquoise necklace. A really lovely layered piece that you've got there. Gorgeous. 2 dollars each. And potentially you could sell it for uh, kind of, yeah, over 50 pounds, you know, a piece. You know, these pieces are made to sell. Those things are, you know, those pieces of jewellery are priced to sell, aren't they? They're not priced to kind of, you know, to, not to sell. Obviously, you know, it's people's business. It's people's bread and butter. Loads of people there. We can take this a little bit lower. 61 pounds and 11 pence. Uh, you could drill a hole in the top of the bottom of, uh, of the ring and use a head pin to hold the heart. 
It's already drilled, Pauline. Where have you been? <laughs> it's already drilled, darling. Look, I'll show you. Look, here we go. Look, 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 look. Oh, gosh, what am I doing? Pauline, it's already drilled. Look, there's one drill hole. There's the other drill hole. Can you see that, Pauline? Literally put the heart in the middle and put a head pin through it. It's already drilled. It's got two drill holes in there, one there and one there. Yeah, I mean, you could easily make earrings, pendants, whatever, so easily. And of course, because they're drilled from top to bottom as well, that, that heart is just going to sit dead straight, isn't it? That's going to be beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, oh, it's going to give the heart a chance to move, isn't it? Yes. It's going to give the heart a chance to move and to spin. How lovely. It's not your price. Okay. We've got less than 50 chances remaining. Elaine's now through. Well done. Oh, my word. Well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. A gorgeous quality piece here. A stunning strand. Get it. Add it onto your own. Even better, says Pauline. Pauline, still some of those halo beads available if you want to get them. Like, literally three or four sets, though. Uh, not many at all. Maker in Cambridge here. Well done to you. West Midlands coming through. Greater Manchester now. Sarah, that's great to see you. Well done. Lanarkshire, well done. £61.11 is no way near your price point today. Get involved as quickly as you can. Check out... We are going to be taking this below £60. Below £50. Oh, yeah. Sophia, well done to you as well. More bidders there. Absolutely superb. It doesn't matter what metal you put it with either. It's going to go with all of them, doesn't? Um, 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 isn't it, yeah. um, uh, and I, Monica? And I was thinking if you do silver clay, it would be amazing to put sort of make a silver clay pendant, maybe a, maybe a heart Ooh. shape one and put this in as a, as a little accent. Or what a gorgeous idea. Yeah, with your silver clay. I mean, because you, you, it's traditionally set with silver to, uh, turquoise, but I mean, feel free to set it with whatever you like, but I love that idea. Definitely. Here we go. 49.99. That is absolutely it. That is as low as we can go today. Well done. Lynn, Sophia, Nicolette, well done to you. Oh, my word. Fantastic. At 49.99. Check out your baskets. It's one of the only two strands that we've ever done on Jewelry Maker with heart shapes. It's yours today. Well done for under 50 pounds. I've got less than 40 chances remaining now. Well done. Nicolette, you might be coming through for another one, it looks like. Well done. Angela, well done to you now. Fantastic. Sonika, well done to you. Isla White, you've got your three. That's great to see. Well done. Less than 30 opportunities remaining now at 49.99. Such a special strand. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Superb. Absolutely that, brilliant. That makes it less than two pounds per stone. So if you use one in, a, in each yeah. earring, it's, it's four pounds for a pair of turquoise earrings. Absolutely. See, that's incredible, isn't it? What an amazing opportunity. Just gorgeous. Well done. Yeah, you're looking here at kind of, yeah, one pound 87 per stone. Is that right? Is that right? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. 49.99. Absolutely superb. Brilliant. Okay. There's still so much more to come. Coming up next, we have got your deal of the day, which is all the hematite jewellery. We've also got natural sapphire, natural ruby. We've also got uh, the incredible um, uh, Wallace Simpson Cartier inspired kits coming up in the 12 as well, which are so exciting, aren't they? I love these kits. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're all going to be coming up. Maker in Surrey, another maker coming through as well. That's great to see. Well done. We've got time. Yeah, we've literally got 14 opportunities remaining. Check out when you can. Well done. One more strand. Is it this one here? Oh, I've been looking at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, turquoise rounds. Now, this is Mexican turquoise. Wow. Turquoise comes from, you know, various different locations worldwide, from China, from Peru, obviously from America, but also from Mexico as well. I really love uh, Mexican turquoise. And um, it is kind of a bit of an unsung hero, I think, because of the American turquoise that you get, particularly your Sleeping Beauty turquoise, tends to have really bright colour, devoid of any um, inclusions and kind of matrix really in, you know, from certain locations, which people absolutely love. But let's hear it for Mexican turquoise, because I have to say, I think this is just as good, just as beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see the two together here. They do definitely have similarities, don't they? They're both kind of relatively matrix free, similar colors, but it is a slightly lighter, some more sky blue that you're going to be getting with the Mexican turquoise. Really unusual to see it in rounds. It is, and, and I was just thinking um, that they're more shiny than the other turquoise. Which yeah, it seems to have, yeah, it seems to have yeah. taken a higher kind of waxed, uh, doesn't I it? I don't know if that's just because it's a round 
Oh, um, possibly, yeah, because it's a, a rounded surface, yeah. isn't it? Rather than it being a flat surface. That's a good point, actually. It's beautiful, yeah. Um, so you've got here the most amazing strand, the most beautiful sizes and shapes. They're absolutely beautiful. In the middle of a wish bracelet, of course, with the beautiful halo beads that we've literally just shown you in this hour as well. Pop one of those in the middle. Oh, fabulous. There you go. There you go. Oh. Should we match the price point of the last strand? Can we do that? I, I'd absolutely love that for these gorgeous rounds. Amazing. Here we go. 49.99. Brilliant. There we go. Is that, is that it? Should we move on? Yeah? 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 No. We are going to move on. We, we are going to move on. We are going to move on price. The deal we're about to do with your 30 second clock coming in. is unthinkably lower than where we are now. Currently at under 50, that's amazing. We are going to go significantly lower. You are going to be saving a huge amount on this today. And the only reason why we can do this price point is because it's Mexican fire, um, fire rope, Mexican turquoise rather than your American turquoise. So it's got that kind of... Uh, the location has got perhaps a little bit less providence, um, but my word, it's just as beautiful. It's just as gorgeous. Liz, Brenda, Maker in Merthyr Tidville, Geraldine, Maker in Cumbria. Liz, well done to you. Nineteen ninety-nine. <laughs> it's under twenty pounds for you today. Yes. Helen, Nicolette, Beverly, well done to you. Maker, Gabrielle, well done to you. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That is amazing it really genuinely is isn't it that's just gorgeous well done wow. um size between five to seven mil in size they are absolutely gorgeous and just look at them as little braces with the spaces that looks oh. great doesn't it that has got to be one of the best deals we've done for turquoise and also what would you expect to get for 19.99 would you expect to get rounds or would you just uh, you know expect to get your chips your nuggets that's what i would expect to get not these rounds. These are rounds of genuine, natural Mexican turquoise for under £20. That's absolutely amazing. Thank Catherine, you. Dahlia, Joy, Maker, Linda, Rachel, Margaret. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Isn't that fantastic? Black leather cord, actually. Yeah, that's Very a good thought, actually. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, the great thought, actually. Yeah, in the middle of one of those gorgeous um, yes. wraparound bracelets you've just made there. I think that's a wonderful idea, Monica. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, or literally just kind of create this piece yeah. here and kind of intersperse it with your turquoise as well i think that would be absolutely gorgeous john so well done to you joy well done to you catherine fantastic well done coming up next oh my word 15 chances remaining they are flying out the door well done coming up next we have got the deal of the day which of course is all of the gorgeous hematite it's going to absolutely fly we're going to be doing some unbelievably low prices don't go anywhere we'll see you in a sec Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelrymaker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. 
catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. deal of the day today we've got the most incredible selection the most wonderful showcase of hematite um such a wonderful electrifying stone which you can do so much with it's so versatile now when you see it in strands like this it it's bright it's dazzling it's glitzy it's glamorous when you see it all together like this and it's a big impact isn't it but in actual fact when you start to look at individual strands, or better still, when you look at jewelry like this, which our in-house designers have made, where it's separated out and it's put with uh, bicones and it's put with Swarovskis and it's put with kind of lengths of chain and spacer beads, it really makes it look quite refined i think it's, it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous it's wonderful to be able to kind of use it all together but when you start to separate it out it just i think i think personally it just elevates the look of it even more now we've got some meter long strands which we're going to be bringing you we've got some slightly shorter round strands that we're going to be bringing you as well but we're actually going to be starting off this hour with these absolutely gorgeous coins of hematite look we've got these here they are absolutely beautiful i love these so much they're just so sweet you've got a mix of colors in here from golds to bronzes to your gorgeous purples to your blues uh to your yellows and greens they are all absolutely gorgeous look at that lovely recording you're getting there you can see on uh, the kind of um uh, the kind of more multicolor strand one there it's got a slightly kind of com uh, kind of domed top on it which i think is brilliant Really, really lovely. Now, we had Alison Tarry on the show yesterday and we bought you a, quite a few strands and she was saying, use them on the loom, use them with your loom work. And I have to say, I think that these would fit in, just looking at the recording or just the way that they're sitting here, these would work so well with your loom work, with your uh, endless loom work. And, you know, to be able to make gorgeous big cuffs using this bundle would be absolutely, uh, would be absolutely gorgeous. We've also just bought you in the last hour the halo beads, which of course these gems 
will fit beautifully into your halo beads. So if you do want to use them and kind of really pick out your special ones, your favorite ones, then of course, you know, utilize your halo beads as well. Now with regards to kind of inspiration, have a look at this. So this is a really, really lovely chain necklace that you're going to be getting here with a hoop shaped bead in the center. And then you've got a bead in the center of that, which is a hematite. Now that hematite will be free, hopefully to spin, to move. Um, so you can really see all of that gorgeous multicolored quality as the gemstone turns. And it gives your jewelry movement. It gives it quite a modern feel, I think as well. Um, let's get these off the bus, shall we? Now, this is a bundle. <laughs> You're getting a bundle here of six strands. These are only available in a bundle. I have to say, I really, really love these. I think they feel wonderful. They look wonderful. They remind me a little bit of sequins, actually. They remind me a little bit of sequins. Altogether, they're very bright. They're very dazzling. They're kind of, a lot of you might be thinking, oh gosh, you know, all together. I'm not too sure if I'd put them all together, but definitely separately. Um, but then you start to look at them separately and you start to think, Do you know what? That as a bracelet, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. That one's lovely, isn't it? Just as a little bracelet there. Use them as individuals. You could easily use them uh, to, uh, on a beaded ring as well if you wanted to, going around, you know, being the, um, being the shank of the ring. That would work really well as well. You know, a lovely stretchy ring maybe. Gorgeous, a lovely stretchy ring. Nice. Okay, so we've got a minute clock. The reason why we bring you a minute clock is because you've got less than 100 chances of this available. This is going to be very, very popular. Hematite is always popular. In fact, we've, we were saying that on the break, weren't we, Monica? It is always such a popular addition to any show, isn't it? Yeah, because it's good fun. You know, you can, you can make really fun, enjoyable jewellery with it. Mm. Yeah. it. Yeah, you can use it in so many different designs, so many different ways. Um, and, and the colours you are going to be getting with this particular bundle is just gorgeous with yeah. leather. Wow! Yeah. Yes, Jan, with leather. Wow. I love that idea. Yes, with the gorgeous leather cord we've literally just bought to wear, making those wonderful wraparound bracelets. That yes. would work really well, Definitely. wouldn't it? And the flat coins especially, though, because they're about the same thickness as your leather cord, so it would sit really nice. Ah, yeah. yeah. Nice one. I like yeah. that. Graphics alive in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Okay, so less than 100 chances available. Graphics alive. There we go. Uh, right, these are, uh, you're getting six strands here. They're absolutely beautiful. These are all around about five to six mil in size. They're gorgeous, gorgeous coins. Beautiful. Oh gosh, the phone lines have gone nuts for these. Well done, everyone. Lots and lots and lots of people getting involved here. Lots and lots of people uh, adding this little order already. That's great to see. Well done, everyone. Angela Maker, Maker in Essex, Maker in Wales, North Yorkshire, Pauline, Liz, May, Vivian, Angela. Oh my word. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done uh, for your gorgeous hematite. Now, if you go to kind of like, if you think about hematite and what hemat hematite is, it is a genuine gemstone. This is not the man-made variety of hematite. And what you've got here is um, um, an incredible gemstone, which has got huge amounts of supposed properties. It's meant to be an amazing gemstone to wear if you want to feel grounded, if you want to feel really kind of settled and grounded in yourself. Um, it's also meant to, uh, uh, well, Native Americans used to believe that it was a gemstone linked to their ancestors. They believe that this gemstone carried the blood of their ancestors. Uh, and actually, when you grind hematite down, it releases a red oxide. Um, we have got a problem. We started with over 100. 42 left. Mm. That is it. That is it. One minute clock, and then we're going to bring you the prize point. We're going to have to do it ever so quickly. Okay. 60 seconds clock. Here we go, everybody. Mary, Jan, Carolyn, Magali, Ver Ooh, Verona. Nice name. Gorgeous. Very, very popular. Beautiful. Well done. And you imagine, I mean, obviously the necklace that which the in-house designers have made here with the hematite has got like all sorts of different beads in there. But just imagine these in here as well. This could look absolutely gorgeous. Chantal, you can make either sophisticated or playful jewellery with hematite. Love the colours, love Chantal. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The playful side of it is all those gorgeous colours together, that kind of festival of colour. The kind of refined, uh, sophisticated side of it is one in the middle of a, uh, a, a flex right necklace or that gorgeous necklace there. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, one price, one price only. We've got 32 chances left. 
Here we go, everyone. Five, four, three. I really hope you've. I really hope you've, you you're ready to hit that by now button. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. Go, go, go. Twenty nine ninety nine. Boom. There you go. Five pounds per strand. That's your deal today. Linda, Janet, Gabrielle, Nancy, Deirdre, Mary, Hazel, Lynn, Mary, Carolyn, Magali. You've got three. Maker Isabel's got two. Well done to you. Pamela, well done to Mary and the Ronda as well. Barbara, April, Joanne, Linda, Janet. Um, my favourites, I would say, I this particular strand here, I love. And I love it because it's got the lovely domed edges on it. But I really love it because you get reds in it, which I've never seen with hematite before. You get these gorgeous red tones in it. You're getting it in this strand as well. And it's just got such a lovely kind of life and energy. Monica, I don't even have to ask you. That one. I'm, I'm going to say a different one, just so that you can't, <laughs> can't say I always go for the same purpley, one. Purpley, purpley, purpley. <laughs> what about you, Michael? Which one's your favourite? The multicolour one on the end. The multicolour one on the end. <gasps> yeah, there you go. There you go. Arlie likes that one too. You like the blue? Yeah, the blue's lovely, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. And it just moves, it changes. It's just, it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. 29.99, 14 opportunities remaining in the building. That is it. Once they are gone, they are gone. So much fun can be had with these. And you can make jewellery, which is going to um, be refined with your gorgeous golds and silvers, or it's going to be really, as Chantel said, as Chantel said, really playful with all of those gorgeous colours together. It's entirely up to you how however you want to use these. They're just gorgeous. I'd love to see these kind of even glued onto a lovely hairband. My kids would absolutely love that. I mean, that would be really lovely. And it's one of those gems you can use in uh, interior design projects as well. It would look amazing. And April, Richard, Nancy, did. there's loads in baskets. Check out my lovelies. Single figures remaining. Well done. Check out. There's so many in baskets. We've got over 40 sitting in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Everybody who's got this in baskets, you are running a really dangerous game because we've only got eight chances remaining. Look at the baskets. Alison, April, Richard, Nancy, Deirdre, Hazel, Lynn, Mary, Carolyn, Magali, Maker, Isabel, Lynn, Alison. Loads in baskets. Check out my lovelies as soon as you can. Well done. Eight opportunities, seven opportunities remaining. Well done, everybody. Okay, still got loads of people flying through to get these. Oh, my word. People coming through to get not just kind of ones, but twos and threes. So give us a call on our free phone number, 0800 644 655. It's a free phone number from a BT landline and certain mobile network providers as well. Um, it's a small investment of your time. Uh, you won't be waiting for hours and hours and hours on the phone lines. And you actually speak to a, um, an actual person who's just the other side of that wall there. They're lovely. Lovely people. Uh, do you know what? I think, I think my, the record amount of time that I stayed waiting on the phone line for, uh, waiting for my call to be answered, um, must have been close to 90 minutes. Wow. There's only so many times you can hear Vivaldi the Four Seasons. Right, rounds. Here we go. Eight, six, and four mil rounds. <whistles> Gorgeous. <laughs> Eight, six, and four mil rounds. Here we go. You've got your graduated necklace. You've got your graduated piece of jewellery. You've got the beads. And also something Monica mentioned earlier on. A larger one, a smaller one, and then, you know, maybe a smaller one. You know, make, you know earrings with just yeah. with three. Yeah. That, that's it. There they are in the gorgeous necklace that the in-house designers have made. Gorgeous. It works. It's beautiful. Already people coming through to get this. This is so good to see. You've got your beautiful blues. You've got your multicolors. And, of course, you've got your gorgeous silvers as well. Now, price point for this is going to be ridiculous. I really hope you're there. I really hope you're ready. We are going to go really nice. I know. Just pop it in your baskets as soon as you're happy with the price point. As soon as you're satisfied, um, then obviously check out. But you are in for an absolute treat today. What are we looking at per strand normally? Really? I think about seven or eight pounds a strand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we should be at what? Yeah, about 41.99, 40, yeah, 41, 42 pounds, yeah? Yeah? 
$41.99. That makes each one of these seven, seven pounds a strand, yeah? Brilliant, fantastic. Can we do a bit better than that today? We can squeeze it a little bit lower. We can squeeze it a little bit lower than that. Oh yeah, all of those gorgeous colors, all of the beautiful patinations you're getting here. And something which is just so difficult to replicate with anything else, that mystic kind of quality is just so attractive. And whether you choose to use all of them or just one of them. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Here we go, everybody. Three, two, one. Oh my word, enjoy. $29.99. They are a fiver a strand. Amazing. Well done, everybody, at $29.99 of five pounds per strand as your deal of the day. That's absolutely superb, isn't it? Well done, everybody. And such a useful bead and color to be able and kind of color palette to be able to use in a whole range of jewelry. You know, not just in beaded jewellery like we've got here, but in your seed beaded jewellery as well, really useful as well, isn't it, Monica? Exactly. And also, I was just going to say that some people don't like wearing metal in their jewellery. So if you want to add the me metallic look, especially the silver strands there, you can add your silver into your jewellery without actually adding metal. Yeah, absolutely. That's so nice. And of course, anything where you want to create that weight, where you want to create those little components which have got real substance to them, because of course, it's quite a heavy stone as well. But as Monica says, it's adding that metallic element. It's adding that kind of uh, a suggestion of a metallic quality. Great for people to wear, maybe if they're allergic to certain base metals as well, because of course, it gives yeah. you that metallic element, but without it being uh, kind of a metal, as it were. Um, also, I would say as well, yeah, for your tubular netting as well, we've seen that lovely necklace earlier on, which the in-house designers made, um, you know, for your tubular netted pieces, absolutely perfect. £29.99. Well done, everybody. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get this. Well done. What a treat for you today. Leslie's now through. That's great to see. Well done to you, my lovely. But not just your tubular netting, you know, kind of any kind of sliding class bracelet, macrame, beaded kumahimo. Look at that. That's nice. Oh. I like that. Nice photograph on a carpet. <laughs> but that'd be absolutely gorgeous in this, wouldn't it? Should we squeeze a bit more? We can squeeze a bit more out of it, surely. Ha! Huh. Okay, 60 second clock, here we go. Even the tassels on here are beautiful. Look. Oh. Aren't they gorgeous? They're really lovely. For all of your mystic strands, you've got your lovely mystic tassels in here, which is absolutely gorgeous. You know, the individual handmade tassels, how much would they be to buy? You know, I, and I know that kind of, might sound like a bit of a silly thing to say, but in actual fact, it is something to be taken into consideration. We're currently at five pounds per strand, which is utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. If we can go low, we will go low. We are going lower. You've got to be there. Rosemary, well done to you as well. Leslie and Aberdeen, cheer now through. That's great to see. Well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. Use your 30-day money-back guarantee. If we can squeeze this down just a little bit lower for you today. Oh, yeah. Enjoy. Here we go. Eight seconds, and then it's yours. Here we go. Three, two, one. $24.99, making each one of these strands four, four, Pounds a strand at $24.99. Incredible. Enjoy. Well done. Alex in the Scottish Borders. Goodness me. Well done to you, my lovely. Ali in the Forest of Dean. Well done to you, my lovely. At £24.99. What an incredible deal for you today. Well done, Barbara in Northumberland. Well done. Four pounds a strand. And look at it in the jewelry. Use it, spacing it out. It looks really refined. It looks really quite grown up and sophisticated, doesn't it? And also you start to take these, you start to separate these colors out as well and put the kind of the silvers and the golds together. That looks like kind of really high quality kind of almost argentium jewelry, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's amazing what it does. Now, coming up next, we've got the meter long strands, uh, which you're going to absolutely love. They are absolutely amazing. So we've got the meter long strands. Um, We've got the meter long strands coming up, um, but just imagine kind of being able to mix all of these rounds, the meter long strands, the coins in with jewelry like this. It's just, 
And, and what's so nice about this, Monica, it's not difficult jewellery to make, is it? It's not, it's not. I mean, I'm looking at that necklace. I mean, is that, did they put the chain? Oh, no, it's got, uh, it's got crimps and crimp covers on top. Yeah. Of That's how they've done it. Yeah, it's yeah, got so the crimp bead covers here. Yes, yes, absolutely. That's really, really, really clever. clever. Yeah. Really, really clever. Really economical um, and just kind of dead wearable and achievable. Right. Let's go to... Oh, does it go straight onto the chain? It does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The, look, the beads go straight onto the chain. Look at that. That's amazing. It goes onto the chain without you even having to do anything to it. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so we've got meter long strands now. Right. These are always going straight for my favourite colour. Okay, that's fine. This, just take a look at that. Who in the world would not want to own that? Who in the world would not want to put that in their jewellery? It's absolutely gorgeous. You look at these gorgeous colours, don't you? And it's got everything that everything that we love. It's got that kind of springtime tones in there, summer tones. It's got your blues. It's got your gorgeous greens. And it's a metre in length. It's absolutely perfect. Green and blue colour-coated hematite, eight millimetre rounds. A metre in total. We've only done a few strands of hematite in metre length strands. And all of them have absolutely flown. I think a lot of you love the idea of maybe making uh, Marla necklaces, really big twisted pieces, your gorgeous kind of um, tubular netted, you know, whole uh, kind of neckline pieces, maybe fed onto memory wire, things like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, 30 second clock. What? Hang on. We're at 14.99. And we're not, no? Oh gosh, okay. This is a meter, Neary. So the equivalent of what? Two, three strands? Oh gosh, so we're already the equivalent of what? Like, yeah, a five or a strand. Whoa, that is low. And these are brand new eight mil rounds that you're going to be getting here. Lots and lots and lots of names coming through to get these already. That's great to see. Well done. We're at 14 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, everybody. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, everyone. This is low. This is really low. This is really, really, really. About 125 beads on here. Um... Neary, that's a bit low. Um, 799. Uh, have you got the names there, Neary? 799. Oh my gosh. Linda's got two. Alex, Anne, Elisabetta, Wendy, Janice, Vivian, Maker, Margaret, Ma uh, Maker, Maker, Lynette, Maker, Daniel, Maeve. Oh my gosh. Hematite is a gem who hematite is beautiful and great quality. I use it for kiss cross necklaces and get so many compliments when I wear it. That's from Ms. Janet. That, thank you so much, lovely. And I bet you do. And I bet it feels wonderful to wear as well. You really experience wearing hematite because, of course, it's got that lovely weight and substantial quality to it. Caroline, Barbara, Lynn, well done, everyone. Margaret, well done to you. There's loads of people coming through. Gorgeous, well done. Flying at the door, flying at the door. Purple, purple, purple. Purple, purple, purple. You know what's coming with the price, so just get it. Go, go, go. Just buy it. Here we go. So, purple eight mil rounds. Look at the quality of these. Woo! Yeah. This is you, Monica. I have, I have these. I don't know if I have the one meter strand, but I definitely have a purple in the eight millimeter rounds. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to get them. You're gonna have to be quick, Monica. Here we go. Eight mil rounds. Around about three strands. About three strands. <laughs> Don't do that. That's so wrong. It's about two pounds. It's about two pounds sixty a strand. Two pounds sixty something a strand. That's ridiculous. This is hematite. These are incredible. Seven ninety nine. Bev, Maker and Lanarkshire. Barbara, Pearl, Maker, Vivian, Susan, Penny, Elaine. Well, clearance was yesterday. Clearance was yesterday, gang.
Ali, oh my word, it's absolutely flying. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous at 7 99. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Well, how is this seven? Like, this is unbelievable. At seven pounds and 99 pence. I can't believe that. That is amazing. What an amazing deal for you today. Sonika's got two. Well done to you, my lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Go, 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 go. What a tremendous. Yeah. And is that iridescence, that kind of, yeah, oil on water quality that you're going to be getting here? They are absolutely amazing. Let's do the rainbow. What on the eight mil? Yeah. So we're going to put all of these on pre-order so you can just get them straight away. We've got loads going on the website. All of these going on the website. There are huge quantities, which is why we're putting them on the website to just get them. But we've got different sizes. So we've got the smallest ones. Um, uh, we've got the six mils and the four mils. All of these are going to be going on the website. OK, they've got very, very, very limited. OK, so rainbow in your eight mils. Oh, this is it. This is the, this is the one that we first did, isn't it? This is your hematite. This is your rainbow color coated hematite. And it just spreads joy. Just spreads joy. Always popular. I reckon, you know, especially when we first launched this stone, which was years ago, I think we could have changed our name to the Rainbow Colour Coated Hematite Channel. Uh, because honestly, thousands and thousands and thousands of these, uh, of, of this incredible quality um, uh, hematite sold. And during lockdown, during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, when we were all kind of staying at home and kind of celebrating the NHS, these kind of colours are, are so are so significant. They mean so much to so many people. Yes, if you use them in an entire necklace, it's going to look really bright and really kind of, you know, dramatic and shockingly beautiful. If you just use one, it's just a little hint. It's a little glimpse. It's a little snippet. So think about it. Yeah, a little nod to whatever it might be, whether it's pride, whether it's, uh, um, uh, whether it's um, uh, the NHS, whether it's just that symbol of hope uh, that rainbows have with them. Dahlia, why don't you <laughs> make her a lane, make her great for festival jewellery as well. Joy, Janice, Bev, Vivian, Susan, well done to you. Actus, well done to you. Joy, loads of people coming through. £7.99. Well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Your deals are so, so, so plenty to, uh, plentiful today, aren't they? Well done, everybody. Just gorgeous. Well done. Right, so the last of the, well, all of the rest of the hematites are going to be put on the website. All of the prices are absolutely amazing. We've now got a star buy. It's time to delve into the most incredible jade carvings. You are going to love these. So, so, so happy with what we've got here. Um, I've, I've seen one of these before. The other two are brand new to me. Um, they, are, they are so special. We've got three jade carvings for you here. We've got the beautiful Laughing Buddha. Love him so much. I love the movement. I love his beautiful tummy. I love his Marla necklace. I love his little pudgy feet. I love his cheeks. It's, it's all so gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. We've also got the most beautiful fan design, which honestly is, it's blown us all away, the detail in this carving. It's absolutely beautiful with a gorgeous bird of paradise um, over the top of the fan. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous floral design in there as well with your lotus flower as well. But it is this piece here, which for me, and I think uh, all of us have been struck by the amazing quality you are getting here. You are getting the most incredible carving featuring uh, trees, pagodas, bridges. There's a lovely, you see, see the bricks in the individual, in, in the bridge there, the water, the running water, the pagoda. And then the other side, you get this. It is a double-sided carving 
with, uh, look at this waterfall. Can you see this waterfall coming? There's a bridge going over the waterfall. There's mountain ranges here. It is unbelievable. As you can see, a double-sided carving. I've never come across another one of these. They are, it's just absolutely sensational. So we've got three carvings to bring you. Um, I'm going to be kind of delving into the s symbolism um, uh, of these pieces. And Neri and I have been very, very excited to bring these um, uh, pieces to you. Master carvings, kind of uh, master carvings um, are on display in museums all around the world. In fact, there's one, uh, there's one on display in the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's called Dragon Among Clouds. It's a carved jade medallion or button uh, from the King uh, Dynasty, probably late 18th century. Um, and just look at it. I mean, it, it, it is it is incredible. The colour obviously is 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 something else. That's like almost like a nephrite imperial jade that you're going to be getting there. But you can see the detailing, the qualities of of the um, of the jade is absolutely um, uh, similar. As in the the carving qualities you are getting in that, and the carving qualities you are getting in ours are relatively similar. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. One thing that Dave talks about is, one thing that Dave talks about sometimes is translucency. And, you know, can you see light through these carvings? I'll show you very quickly because the answer is a resounding yes. This beautiful Buddha here, you can see the light shining through the gorgeous Buddha. You can see, can't you? It's absolutely incredible. There are moments of great kind of transparency, translucency. The fan is incredible. Look at that. Yeah, the water content that you are getting here with this beautiful jade is absolutely superb. Um, and we've got, like I say, we've got three of those incredible master carvings to bring you. We're going to start off with the double-sided carving. Now, this for me... I. I I don't know about you, but I, I love um, one of my favourite uh, storybooks growing up was a series of books called uh, Bramley Hedge. And it's all about uh, a, a little, it's all about Bramley Hedge and uh, lots of mice and other little animals live in Bramley Hedge. And yes, the stories were absolutely beautiful. But what struck me were the illustrations the detail and the illustrations. It's one of those books that you look at the pictures and you end up looking at the pictures for the illustrations for, for, for many, many, many minutes because, of course, there's so much detail, all the, little, all the little kind of added extra bonuses that you get in the illustrations just really bring the story to life, well, brought the story to life for me. And my, um, and my kids absolutely love those stories as well for exactly the same reason. And I had the same kind of feeling when I was looking at this jade carving this morning. I found myself looking at it and looking deeper into it, and looking even deeper into it. I'll hold it, I'll hold this side first and we can all look at it together. But what you've got here are layers, layers. You've got here a beautiful cherry blossom tree. You've got here a gorgeous bridge with someone walking across the bridge. You've got the moving water underneath the bridge and you've got pagodas and beautiful cloud formations and you've got um, uh, wonderful mountains behind. So I thought, well, I wonder what the symbology of these kind of things is in kind of Japanese, Chinese and uh, kind of um, artwork, but also uh, uh, kind of in carvings as well. Bridges. And this is kind of this is yeah, a, a bridge symbolizes traveling and transition from one state to another or one world to another. Stepping on a bridge gives us choice. Either we cross it, we take uh, time on the bridge or we turn back. And isn't that, I just find that really poignant when you're looking at something which is jade, which is obviously to many people, especially in the Far East, connect, that connection between heaven and earth. And that bridge being that connection, that bridge very much at the forefront of this gorgeous carving here, that bridge being the connection between two worlds. You can see the beautiful pagodas in the background as well. And the pagoda symbolizes the path to heightened awareness, and the height and height in perception, it's the most auspicious symbol filled with wisdom, peace and harmony. Also, a pagoda is just a, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? 
It's a thing of absolute beauty. The, the work that goes into them, the, the traditional building methods as well, absolutely gorgeous. So you can see here, this symbol, this has got your cherry blossoms in the, in the, um, uh, um, on the front as well, which of course is that symbol of beauty, that symbol of um, uh, perfection. Um, and then you've got the other side. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good. So you've got your... You've got your kind of bonsai uh, trees here, bonsai cherry blossom trees almost. Now the bonsai tree, um, I love bonsai trees. They're absolutely beautiful. Depending on a person's cultural beliefs, bonsai trees are seen as a symbol of harmony, balance, patience, or even luck. Many people simply use the potted trees as living ornaments for interior design, whilst other Zen Buddhists, for example, believe that the bonsai is an object of meditation and contemplation. You've got your beautiful um, uh, bonsai trees in here. Again, you've got that moving water. Become water. Uh, there's an old Chinese, there's an old Chinese fable about somebody who falls into uh, a moving waterfall and they try and fight the water and they try and fight the water and they're washed up downstream and they've broken bones. And one of the and one of the kind of uh, soothsayers says, "Don't don't fight the water. You know, if it's if it's pushing you, just go with it. Go." And that's where the symbol and that's where the saying "Go with the flow" comes from. Just go with it. Go with it. Don't fight it. This is an opportunity to get so many poignant symbols, collection of symbols in what can only be described as the ultimate master carving. Because of course you've got a double-sided quality of genuine jade. It's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, our buying power, obviously, um, uh, you, know, you know, we've been able to still very much trade during the pandemic and the relationships that we build up, uh, that we built up over the last few years allows us to bring you something of this kind of quality. You're looking here at a massive 345 carat master carving it is absolutely incredible the detail the definition this isn't just a random sim um, a collection of symbols this is all to do with those symbols which are very very thoughtfully placed the pagoda in the background the mountain ranges which again is a sign of spirituality kind of climbing mountains to attain that spiritual enlightenment everything you are seeing in here means something Everything you see in here means something, not just if you're a Buddhist, but whoever you are, it will mean something to you. To me, it was awakening that childhood memory of me looking at really detailed uh, pictures, illustrations in a book, and just that wonderment, that kind of, wow, it's incredible. It would be gorgeous as uh, displayed on a stand to view. Yeah, absolutely. We've done in the past those gorgeous frames, haven't we, with the clear perspex on either side, and just being able to have this because it is double-sided. It seems like such a shame to just to wear it on one side, you know, and not see the other side. But it's almost a secret, isn't it? It's almost a secret. And it, I feel it's got those kind of almost the, the stories that a lot of the willow pattern plates have in there. You know, the, you know, the, the stories that the willow pattern plates have, which are, about, are all about um, um, star cross lovers. Now, the star price is incredible. And this is something which we've spoken about when obviously Dave has bought you lots of gorgeous jade in the past, that let's not, let's not underestimate this. What you're seeing here, the quality that you're seeing here, the people who have carved these pieces will have learnt their trade and their craft from their forefathers. And these are probably the same forefathers who carved that piece that you saw in the Victoria and Albert Museum for the Qing Dynasty. We're talking about things which are go back centuries, um, uh, uh, skills and art forms which go back centuries. The quality you are getting here is the same. We are nowhere near our price point today. Already loads of people interested. Anne in Cardiff, well done. Linda in Northumberland, Alan in Bedfordshire, Maker in Merthyr Tidfall, well done. If I was to tell you today that you are going to be getting this double-sided, this double-sided, museum-worthy master carving for under 
hundred pounds, we are halving that price. It's happening today. The pagoda, that symbol of enlightenment, the bridge, a symbol of one world to another, the journey, the transitional period of life and death. And then, of course, the bonsai tree, that symbol of meditation, that symbol of contemplation and peace and harmony. And the cherry blossom, that symbol of perfection. And it's yours for under 500 pounds. Absolutely amazing. And you've got this gorgeous kind of bluey lavender tone in here. More makers coming through. This is absolutely superb. Now, here at Jewelry Maker, we want to be able to give you the very, very best prices, the very, very lowest deals for the absolute for the absolute best. You can see this is the best. You know this is the best. It's double-sided. It tells a story on both sides. It does have a drill hole if you do want to set it. Um, it does come with a drill hole. Um, the deal you are going to be getting today is absolutely phenomenal. There's more people with this in the baskets. Huge congratulations. The definition, carving this into a solid piece of jade is unbelievably skilled. The kind of skill set which any gemstone lapidary um, um, expert will tell you, it is, it is, it is nigh on impossible. It's not impossible with things like stone, limestone, sandstone, let alone a precious neuron, neuron priceless gem like jade. Richard, well done to you. More makers coming through. This is great. Well done. £499, not your deal. Reversible, oh, there we go. So we've got a reversible carved jade pendant, 504 euros. What is that? Can't even see what's on that. What is it? I don't know. It's got lovely colours going through it though, hasn't it? But I can't see what it is. Brenda in Surrey, well done. Your price point, that reversible is beautiful. This reversible, look at the detail. Look at the detail. Belongs in a museum. Oh yeah, yours today. This is tremendous and it's yours today. Enjoy, check out. Because it's 249 pounds. Oh my gosh. Look at your split payments of 49 pounds and 80 pence. Well done, maker in Nottinghamshire through. Confirmed, that's wonderful, well done. We only literally have a few opportunities available. Maker in Surrey, you're there. Alan in Bedfordshire, well done. We've only literally got a few chances available. This is not the kind of thing which is mass produced. This is not the kind of thing which is gonna be. So Brenda, yours is gonna look slightly different to Maker in Nottinghamshire. Maker in Nottinghamshire, yours is gonna look slightly different to Anne in Cardiff. Anne in Cardiff, yours is gonna look slightly different to Alan in Bedfordshire. Cause these are all carved by hand. More more makers coming through. This is phenomenal. Linda in Northumberland, well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. Would you wear it or would you frame it or would you just put it into a safety deposit box, uh, into a glass case for the next 50, 60 years with a little spotlight on it? Buy a lazy Susan. You know, this is absolutely incredible. This is the kind of thing, yeah, you want to, you want to, you know, you want to buy a lazy Susan. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well done, everybody. It is just a tremendous piece. And Whatever side um, uh, is, is your favourite, you know, enjoy it. Just lap it up and get get and just get lost in it. That 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 is beautiful, isn't it? That gorgeous waterfall with your beautiful bridge there, your mountain range, your pagodas, your cherry blossoms. There's another maker coming through. Well done to you. Fantastic. Well done. We are massively over allocated. We've got three left and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six in baskets. It's up to you with three chances remaining. A double sided type A jadeite master carving. A true once in a lifetime opportunity for you today. Well done. There's so many more people with this in baskets and we've got chances available. Well done. Um, I've still got three chances left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in baskets now. Okay, right. Oh, nine of 10 in baskets. Pauline's just come through. I think you've taken that quantity down to two now, Pauline. Well done. Okay, right. Two more. We've got the fan and we've got the laughing Buddha. Which one, should we, which one should we do? The fan? I love this fan. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you've got here uh, the most beautiful piece of jade. I've not seen this piece before. There's your drill hole if you're interested. Okay. So you've got here a Hyogi um, fan. 
This is a very, very special symbol. I hadn't realised, actually, until this morning, and doing a bit of reading about the fans, and um, they, 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 they are not just fans. Hyogi fans are not just fans. I found some information about this. I found this really interesting. Um, uh, just just kind of let me know what you think. In Japan, the fan quickly found a place in court, official and everyday life. The Japanese court fan is the Hyogi. It's fully developed form. It was a fan used for ceremonial purposes rather than for cooling oneself. And it remained an item of court paraphernalia right through the 19th century. Originally, only the emperor was permitted to uh, use the Hyogi, uh, though. In time, it was used by all levels of the court aristocracy. Now, when you when you it's quite interesting, isn't it? Um, uh, uh, not just not just a not just something to cool oneself with, because of course it would have got very very hot, I'm sure, in courtrooms. Uh, but a symbol of status, a symbol of wealth, because of course when you look and when you um, when you type in uh, when you type in. Um, Hyogi fans, you will find um, you, you will find them uh, made out of different types of wood, from cedar wood right the way through to uh, metal as well, to kind of ones being used as weapons almost as well. And they will have different paintings and depictions on them. They could be cherry blossoms. They could be lotus flowers. This one here has got the most beautiful bird of paradise. Can you see that there? Beautiful bird of paradise there with its tail coming all the way down here. And then you can see here that symbol of, of balance and symbol of striving for enlightenment, that gorgeous lotus flower as well. I think this is gorgeous. Now, is it too big to make into a pair of earrings? If you've got two of these, I think you could absolutely uh, make these into a gorgeous pair of earrings. Tamina's already through Maker in East Sussex. Well done to you, my lovely. It's just such a lovely, lovely piece. Um, it's a little kind of nod, obviously, to that kind of uh, Far Eastern quality, uh, but also... Fans were used a lot um, uh, during the Victorian period and before that as well. If you think of, if you were a lady and you were wearing a corset, quite often you'd be really restricted breathing wise and get very, very hot. So, of course, you'd use a fan to cool you down and stop you from fainting, basically. But also people used to hide behind their fans. People used to use fans uh, to kind of, um, uh, to kind of um, display their subconscious kind of uh, thoughts and how they were feeling about something, the way you would hold your fan and what you would do with it. So already got people coming through to get this well done a beautiful symbol absolutely wonderful and um, you've got this flat back on it as well so if you wanted to maybe put this with something like oh i don't know shibori ribbon or if you wanted to seed bead around this you absolutely could do because it's got a lovely flat back 199 pounds no way near your price maker's got two in the basket well done oh my word we are going low now as a pendant can i hold it up to the Neckline as a pendant, I think that would work. Absolutely, look at this. Oh, oh my word, that's beautiful. I love that so much. Isn't that gorgeous, Monica? Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? It would be great for bead embroidery as well, because as you say, it's got the flat back. So yeah, so if it's got a flat back, if you wanted to make a lovely pair of earrings with this or something and put it on some uh, bead embroidery, you absolutely could do, couldn't you? It's not, I mean, it's not too, I don't think it's too big um, if you wanted to use it in a pair of earrings. Maker's now got three, well done to you. Essex is now through, that's great to see, well done. You've got a minute clock and then we're going to be bringing you that final price. By the way, this one has got the most amazing translucency. It is a slightly thinner piece of jade but obviously not all jade's going to give you translucency but that is amazing look at that pop in a window hanging that's going to look absolutely amazing you can see that bird of uh, that beautiful bird of paradise there and the lotus flower as well gorgeous well done and of course that's slightly different kind of um uh, carving when it comes to the individual slats of the fan as well just beautiful yeah, it's just, it, it's so, so, so pretty. You've got those wonderful kind of strands of colour going through here as well. Maker and Merthyr Tipful, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through, well done. £199, no way near your price point today. Are you ready? Your Taipei Jadeite Hoagie Fan at Master Carving. Yours, I can't believe we're doing this. This is really low. This is really, really, really low. £74.99. Oh, 74.99, Maker in Cumbria, well done to you, my lovely. Oh my word, there's multi bidders. This is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? What a deal for you today, Maker in Surrey. Maker in Cumbria's back through, well done, Penny in Buckinghamshire, well done to you. The detail, the layers, 
We're not talking about carving into icing. We're not talking about carving into polymer clay. We're not talking about carving into wood. Which we're, we're not even talking about carving into kind of stone like a sandstone or a limestone or a granite. We're talking about carving into a precious, a gemstone which is so precious. It is not even seen as a gemstone. Ella, well done to you, my lovely. So many people coming through to get these. Individual split payments of $24.99. Can you believe it? Three chances remaining. Well done. Surrey, Buckinghamshire, East Sussex, Merthyr, Tidville. You need to fight this out amongst yourselves. Well done, everybody. I've got so many people there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in baskets for the final two. Ah! Well done, everyone. Absolutely incredible. What a great, great, great deal for you today. At £74.99, pence. we've got time for one more. Uno más, por favor. Gorgeous. There's so many people there for the final two. Ah! Check out, my lovelies. Well done, well done, well done. All pennies checked out. Well done. This is gorgeous, this next piece. I love it. And I remember Susie, uh, guest designer Susie, when she first saw this. She just lost her mind. She absolutely lost her mind because this is, um, you know, we're used to seeing, you know, if they're the hematite Buddha heads or um, uh, the Labradorite big Buddha head that we've done before. It's beautiful. It's quite serene. It's kind of your Indonesian Buddha. There are different types of Buddhas, whether it's kind of an Indian Buddha or, 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 or a, yeah, a Thai Buddha or Malaysian. The Chinese Buddha is different to all of those because it's not about serenity. It's not about enlightenment. It's not about being stoic and meditating and being all that kind of stuff. It's about having a jolly good time. That's what it's about. So I've got a slide about the Chinese Buddha and he's, he's beautiful. The energy you get from a Chinese Buddha, I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's all about, oh, did I not send it to you? It's all about abundance. It's all about happiness. It's all about good fortune. It's all about just that face there, that face there, so happy, so joyous. He's got a lovely full tummy. He's wearing his mala necklace. You quite often see the Chinese Buddhas with, um, with children. He's there kind of teaching, uh, teaching children. Uh, and, but it's all about joy and happiness and abundance. This is, this is a different kind of Buddha. Everything about, yeah, not just, the, not just his mouth is smiling, his eyes, his cheeks, everything is just, oh, it's just gorgeous. It reminds me of, <laughs> reminds me of, um, of both my daughters when they were little, tiny little, fat little babies sitting in the high chair and their tummy, oh yeah, and they're rubbing their tummy and, and it's just, it's just absolute, just joy, just pure joy that, and the little rubber band wrists, you know what I mean, don't you? Just folds on, fold, just gorgeous and it's just joyous. What you've got here is, yeah, another of these master carvings. It's, it's another enormous piece. 230 carats that you're going to be getting here. There's your drill hole. You can't, you can't even really see it. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And you can see the thickness of that. That's just gorgeous. Now, uh, you, you, you've got here, I, I definitely wouldn't describe this as, uh, as, as your, um, what do you might call it? Um, your lavender jade. I would say this is, for me, more towards your kind of um, Kotan mutton fat uh, jade and the fact that it's got more of that white quality. It's not described as that, so I'm not going to start to say that it is that, but it is very much like that. And some of them will be more green or more white or more lavender than others. And that's, I mean, that's brilliant. That's the beauty of things like this. Okay, here's your start price. Here's your start price. 249 pounds. Can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? Only a few people in the world will own this. Each one of those mala beads, each one of those little chubby little toes have been individually carved by hand. His earlobes, his eyes, his nose, his mouth, his moves, all carved by hand. Yeah, the, yeah look, the folds in his sleeve, in his, in his, absolutely amazing. 
Loads of people already there. £249, not your price. This is another one of these, Monica. I, I want this on display, wouldn't you? Yeah, I have this. <laughs> oh, do you, lovey? Oh. I was saying earlier with the, with the, the displays that we had. Yes. With, with the plastic in the front and the yes. back. Yes. So I've got him in there as well on my, on my shelf. And the, the carving is, I mean, it's unbelievable, the detail. I mean, never mind the toes, you can see the toenails on here. Yes, you're so right. Yeah, you can see the little toenails. You're absolutely yeah. right. And it is, and it is a, a, your rub is tummy for luck. His tummy is most definitely there. I think as a, as you say, Monica, as a, technically as a piece of art, it is so impressive. I mean, it's just, it is just like beguiling. It's amazing, isn't it? 18 seconds and then we are going to be giving you your price. Sheila, Richard in County Durham, Alan in Bedfordshire. Why don't you, my lovely? Absolutely fantastic. I'll show you again the translucency of this because it is remarkable because it's such a big piece that you're going to be getting here. But look at this. That translucency is there. Look at it. Look at the detail. Ah, isn't he beautiful? He's just got, he is absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Yours today, enjoy. 69.99, can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Ah, 69.99, individual split payments of 34.99. Bev in South Yorkshire, Paulette, Maker, Janice, Sheila, Richard, Alan, Maker, Maker in Surrey, well done to you in Greater London, West Midlands. Oh my gosh, it's literally flying out the door. 69.99, are you making into a pendant? Are you just gonna be having in a display like, much like Monica does? Maker in Cumbria, well done to you as well. Don't feel under any pressure to do anything with it, but when you get it, you might go, oh, it's just come to me. I'm going to make it into a pendant. Oh, it's just come to me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to glue. You could do a lot worse than gluing it into a box frame and hanging it up beside your bed. You could do a lot worse than that. Pearl in Suffolk, maker. Susan and Brian, maker in Surrey. Tamina, well done to you, my lovely. Janice in London, well done to you. Cumbria's bought two. Susan and Brian, well done. Three chances left. Oh my gosh. And in Cardiff, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got 12 in baskets, seven people on the phone lines for two left. You gotta go for it, go, go, go. Well done, lots and lots and lots of interest there. That's absolutely superb. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. We've literally got two chances remaining. Gainer, it's in your basket, darling. Check out my lovely, one chance remaining. And I've got so many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in, oh, ten in baskets with still another five people on the phone lines. Oh my gosh, well done. Check out your basket, 69.99, what a great deal. Absolutely superb, stunning, well done. Right, okay. Ah, so, gorgeous. Check out your baskets, please do it now. Okay, what is this? What are we doing? Well, where's this come from? Hmm? Been on screen once before. Oh. <laughs> Oh my word. Jadeite eight millimeter hearts. Uh, right, okay, uh, I am amazed. I, I, wow, no way. Did not think we would ever be able to do anything. This is absolutely, what is going on? No, oh my gosh. Beautiful hearts of genuine Burmese jadeite. 99.99, not your price, nowhere near your price. Deal we're about to do is literally ridiculous. Just one, just one. Put it with the turquoise heart we bought you earlier on. Oh my gosh, put it with the halo beads. Halo. Hello, hello, I can see your hello. Here you go, here's your halo. That's with the 10 mil. Oh. 
What about with the eight mil halo? I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, look, look. I bet it does. <gasps> oh my word. No, not quite. Not quite. Ah, no, not quite. That would be amazing if it did. But it does fit into the 10 mil. No problem whatsoever. Isn't that lovely? A circle, the circle of life around a jadeite. Gorgeous, yeah, and a pair of earrings. Gorgeous. On the strand, you've got approximately two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39. About 39 on the strand there. Eight mil hearts that you're going to be getting here. 99.99, not your price point today. 19 pairs of earrings. Yeah, nice one. Like that. Here we go, everyone. Going in with the price. Gosh, next to that one, it looks, that, that one there looks lavender now next to this jade eye, doesn't it? Look at that, that looks green, that looks lavender. Looks purple, doesn't that master carving? Still one of those available. Two left of that one, of the reversible master carving, if you want to add it onto your order. Woo, yeah. How much was it again? 250 quid, 250 quid, yeah. Still two of those available if you want to add it to your order. Okay, here we go, my lovelies. Price one coming in any second now. Yeah, 13 suites of jewellery. You know, if you literally just had, you know, two, two in a pair of earrings, one in a pendant, done. Yeah, even if you sold the suite for a £10 note, you're in huge amounts of profit. You're not going to be doing that with jadeite. You're not going to be able to believe the price on this. Okay. Uh, 79, 69, 59, 49, 39. Yes. 39.99 for your genuine natural Burmese eight millimeter hearts. There you go, everyone. Well done. Loads of you coming through. Susan, Tamina, Maker, Gabrielle, Maker. Well done to you in Wales. Essex, fantastic. Absolutely superb at 39.99. Here it is kind of up at the neckline, just for kind of a size point of reference. Look at that green. Look at the colors, amazing. And well done to you in County Wicklow, Maker and Essex. Well done to you as well, Gabrielle. Fantastic. Yeah, it's got really lovely saturation. It's got that kind of almost apple kingfisher green, hasn't it? It's just gorgeous. I don't know how many strands of jade hearts we've actually done in the past. And they are proper hearts with a proper cleavage there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Yeah, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 Well done at just 39.99. Absolutely superb. Well done. Okay, moving on. Gourds. Ah, oh, so gourds. Sim We've got three more strands and then we're going to go to a very quick break, okay? So these are gourds. What is a gourd? A gourd is a, uh, mm, like a squash or a pumpkin. Yeah? Symbol of abundance. Um, you imagine when you find gourds in the supermarket or when you see them growing, normally around Halloween, which is kind of obviously harvest time. And it's that symbol of abundance. Hello. It's that symbol of abundance. It's that symbol of kind of um, fruitfulness. Um, and not just abundance with food, but abundance in life, abundance in, uh, abundance in, in, your, in your personal life. So maybe it's financial. Maybe it's personal in your, in your relationships. Okay, so you've got your gourds, which are then spaced out with these absolutely gorgeous rounds of what look like almost russet red jade. That's incredible. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Loving these gourds. They're beautiful, aren't they? Wonderful as little individual charms. Beautiful kind of um, uh, um, uh, to use as little spaces, little charms, just as a little good luck charm for somebody. Don't you think if you want to give them kind of abundance, you want to kind of get them to attract, uh, you know, uh, happiness and abundance in, from an emotional point of view or from a business point of view. Gorgeous. OK, 100 carats in total. Loving these rounds as well. They're really lovely colours you're getting there. Lovely natural shades of jade um, included in there. OK, here we go. Start price of £100. Forget that, though. We're going to go much lower. Yeah, because we can. It's amazing, isn't it? 99.99. Have a look at this at the neckline as well, because they're knotted individually, which is really nice. Um, I like the way they've been knotted as well. It's got a really, 
I don't know. I just, I, I, mm, I'd be tempted. I mean, I'd find out what it's kind of knotted with, but I'd be tempted just to leave it as is. It's quite a cool piece, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? 50 centimetre strand, by the way. Half a metre. Half a metre of your gourds. Good gourd. Yeah. Look at this. Now, this is by no means a comparison, but important certified Imperial Jade Gourd Diamond Earrings Imperial Green Colour. 55 grand. Yeah, but you, you, I, that's purely just to show you the gourd shape. But you've got it there, haven't you? It's absolutely amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. It's just beautiful. So not just, you know, here at Jewelry Maker, but in, in kind of your designer pieces as well, you've got that gorgeous shape, that wonderful quality, uh, which is, which is, um, which is, uh, which goes, you know, which is symbolic right the way through jewellery design. 99.99, absolutely amazing. Not your deal today. Here we go. Tamina, make it well unto you, my lovelies. Lots and lots and lots of people already coming through. This is great to see. Well done. Ah, oh, minutes clock. Here we go. 20 opportunities remaining. There's more people coming through. This is great to see. Well done. It's available on how many split pays? Four split pays. Split payments are, in, are interest free. They're individual split payments. They're equal. They're interest free. Uh, so you pay uh, $24.99 today. Next month, you'll pay another $24.99 and so on and so after. So you, uh, yeah, for the next four months. Absolutely amazing. It's helping you to spread the cost out. It doesn't cost you any more. You're not penalised for it. It helps us spread the cost out. Lorna, well done to you. More makers coming through. This is great to see. Well done. 18 seconds and then the price point is going to go down. Are you ready? Two more strands coming back. Here we go. 0800 644 655. Six seconds and then the price point's going to come in and shock you. Ready? Ready? 39.99. Yes, amazing. It's a 50 centimetre strand you're getting here as well today. 50 centimetre strand. Philippus, Gabrielle, Gaina, why well don't you, my lovelies? Gorgeous at just £39.99 for your gorgeous strand of gourds with those beautiful rounds as well. It's all looking so good, isn't it? Maker in Essex, well done to you as well. Oh, this is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Great, great, great deals for you today. Well done, Richard in County Durham as well. What a treat, a tremendous deal for you today. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. One more strand. Oh, which one, lovey? Yep. Faceted rounds. Here we go. Now, this is kind of where uh, the luster on these is absolutely gorgeous. Natural sapphire and ruby after, um, after this coming up in the next hour. Well, say that after the break, I should say. Oh, yeah. Faceted rounds of Taipei jadeite. Beautiful. A gemstone synonymous with uh, enlightenment, peace, harmony, meditation, serenity, a higher state of consciousness. And yep, that price is right, $12.99. Oh my gosh. Please don't think that these prices are indicative of what this is worth or what this would be valued at or what this would retail for because it's simply not the case. $12.99 is absolutely ridiculous. Well done. Phone lines have just gone completely bonkers. Gabrielle Maker, Ruth Maker's got four. Essex, well done to you as well. 30 opportunities remaining. Yeah, 12 99 Pearl Morag, well done to you. Anyone who's come through to get any of the other strands today, you're going to have to add this onto your order, aren't you? Yeah, well done, everyone. East Lothian, well done to you as well. 12 11 10 chances remaining now. Well done at £12.99. Marie in Yorkshire, well done to you as well. Yeah, if you've got four in your basket maker, you need to check out now. Brenda, well done to you as well. Oh, Morag's just taken two. That's great. Well done, lovely. Checking out those multiples today. Well done, Brenda. Pauline, last seven opportunities. One more strand. They're not faceted, them. They're smooth pairs. No, they're smooth. Wow. 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 
You've got here, this is what I love about jade, when you get these gorgeous, what, what are described as golden threads going through the jade. So you get these patinations, these kind of, it's almost a vein, a matrix going through the stone. It makes the stone look living, I think. It's just gorgeous. And the dark colours you're getting here, sagey colours, silvery greens. Goodness me, you're getting kind of almost peacock tones here. This is absolute, this is some of the best jade we've ever had on Jewellery Maker. All type A, not polymer filled, not dyed, not acid treated, completely natural. Natural Burmese jadeite. We are halving the price you've just seen. This is tremendous. A tremendous deal. £24. Wow. And 99 pets. I can't believe that. Two of these in a pair of earrings. On the strand, by the way, you've got approximately two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. There's 31 on there. What does that make each one of these uh, beautiful jadeites today? 80p. Whoa. 80p per jadeite. That is absolutely ridiculous. 80 pence per jadeite. That is amazing. For the, of this quality. This isn't wishy-washy. This isn't kind of, oh, is it jadeite or is it not? You know, this is absolutely most definitely beautiful quality. Janet Maker, Deborah, Tamina, Marie, M Maker and Merthyr Tidville, Gabrielle Maker, Lincolnshire, Essex, well done to you. Cumbria, Lorna and Aberdeenshire, well done to you. Absolutely phenomenal for £24.99 a day. Well done, everyone. Richard, well done to you. Seven opportunities remaining. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Now, coming up, we have got the most amazing natural sapphire, natural ruby showcase. The pieces, the strands that we've got are amazing. The prices are unbelievable. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelrymaker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry 
Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Do you know something? We've got a brilliant couple of hours for you here on Joy Maker. We've got, um, coming up in the 12 o'clock hour, these gorgeous, gorgeous kits yes. with these Cartier, Cartier Wallace Simpson inspired leopard uh, pieces. They are just amazing, aren't they, Monica? They are so, they look so expensive. They do, yes. I love working with these kits. And, and I'm going to show you how to make that necklace. And it's oh, a lot easier than it looks. Because <laughs> that does not look easy. That looks like it took you about a week to make. Mm. I love them. Ah, oh, oh, love these kits. With your gorgeous um, shell pearls as well. And seed beads. It's just, oh, they're gorgeous kits coming up at 12. We're going to put those kits on pre-order right now. We're going to do it now. Go on, let's do it now. Yeah, why not? Okay. What we've got coming up for you now is a showcase of natural sapphire and natural uh, ruby. This is special, special stuff. And when we talk about genuine uh, gemstones, precious gemstones, there are a few gemstones which are kind of in that camp of precious gems. And those are uh, emerald, diamond, uh, sapphire and ruby. That's, that's them. That's it. Anything other than these four gemstones is, 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 is described as a semi-precious stone or a mineral. What you've got here is absolutely 100% natural, precious gemstone quality. Pretty special, hey? Now, we're starting off with the sapphire. I just want to show you very quickly the two beautiful pieces which our in-house designers have made. Love the jewellery. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful sapphire. Love the uh, fact that they've set it with the rose gold. I think that looks really lovely. And then you've got the gorgeous ruby bracelet here as well. I really like that. Isn't that nice? Nice with the gold, actually. Do you know what? Together. Why have we put them separately? They deserve to be together. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> As, yeah, together. They are, I mean, that's just so nice. It's Ruby good. and Sapphire's together. Gorgeous, hey? Isn't that lovely? I mean, I still, I still have trouble getting my head around the fact that, you know, I could wear a completely Sapphire or completely Ruby bracelet. Yeah. Or a necklace. It's amazing, isn't it? It's quite yeah. difficult to kind of get your head around, isn't it? Yeah. After maybe not being able to use gemstones uh, before... Uh, let alone, you know, two of the most precious uh, gemstones with the most providence, you know, in the world than you know, or almost any other gemstone, the most, you know, heritage wise. This is it. This is the kind of this is this is the big one. Now, we're starting off with the sapphire. We've got three strands of sapphire to bring you. They are brilliant strands. There's no other word for it. They are absolutely sensational strands. The quality of what you're getting here is absolutely superb. You are getting three different strands. We'll be bringing them all to you. Love them. Totally 100% natural. Now, all of these sapphires are from pretty much the most ah, important gemstone mining area in the world right now, the Magok Valley in Burma. You have got an area of land which is uh, really quite small. Um, when we talk about gemstone mining areas like the Minas Gerais region of Brazil, we talk about, you know, areas which are bigger than counties. You know, they're absolutely gigantic. 
Um, you've got here um, a bit of information that there's a photograph of the beautiful Magok Valley in Burma. The Magok um, is believed to have been founded in 1217 by three lost Shan hunters who discovered rubies at the base of a collapsed mountain. According to the tale, the hunters returned to their homes in uh, Momake uh, and offered the precious stones to the local Salfa, who established a village in what would become modern day Magog. And you've got this incredible, incredible kind of um, jewel in the crown of Burma. And just the, just the map there, it says um, um, uh, that Magog has been famous for centuries for its gemstones, including pigeons, blood rubies and blue sapphires that have been cited in ancient Burmese literature. And it's, it's not the easiest gemstone to find. It's a very, very difficult gemstone to mine for. And it's to do with the conditions which pretty much all of the gemstones from Burma grow in. They grow in very marble kind of laden host rock. And what that means is, is marble is obviously very, very hard and it's very hard to kind of, to kind of chip into it and to mine it. But its benefit, its huge benefit of it being marble is the fact that it stops the gemstone from being polluted or discoloured by other elements. The colours and the qualities you get from pretty much all of your uh, Burmese gemstones, whether it's jadeite, whether it's spinel, tourmaline, sapphire or ruby, um, um, the colours that you get are some of the purest in the world. So Magok is the most legendary gemstone source in Myanmar. It's fabled rubies have been highly desired for centuries, perhaps equally sought after by connoisseurs, but less known to the general public are its blue sapphires. These are the kind of conditions which you're finding the blue sapphires in. Well, I say that you're finding them in. It used to be that case. There's very, very, very new gemstone mining going on in the Magok Valley at all, in Burma as a whole, and particularly the Magok Valley. And that is just because most of the mines have been completely mined out and they were mined out centuries ago. What happens is, is that you have miners, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> miners going through the spoils almost, all of that mined material, going back over that mined material and finding the odd one or two per you know, per massive, massive container of, of all of the spores and, and being able to bring this incredible, scarce, rare quality to you today. It is almost impossible to get Burmese gemstones at this moment in time. It's almost impossible to get your Magok sapphire and ruby as well. The only reason why we have these strands for you today is because we visited Burma back in 2017. We were invited there, Jake Thompson and the team, to go and source gemstones, to go to the Magok um, uh, gemstone market and to buy jade, to buy spinel, to buy ruby, to buy um, uh, sapphires. And that is the only reason why we have access to this material. We're starting off with this strand here. We're starting off with the most incredible blue sapphire faceted coins, 100% natural, 100% real. You have got here the most incredible stone. Now, look. I've got the gorgeous halo beads from earlier on. Each one of these, oh, actually, you could go with even the smallest ones, actually. The smaller 8 mil um, halo beads that we bought. I don't know if there's any of these left. If there are, please do add them onto your order because we only had like three or four packs uh, uh, left in each size. So do add them onto your order if you haven't got them. Oh, they both sold out. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, so you've got 25 carats of your genuine natural blue sapphire. I don't think I've ever seen Burmese blue sapphire coins before. Um, it's interesting. I've always felt that whatever gemstone you get from Burma always seems to be the best gemstone in its class. So the ruby, I think, is the best in its class. I think the sapphire is the best in its class. I think the spinel is best in its class. And of course, there's really good reasons for that. We were talking about the marble rich ground, which it grows in. Very difficult to mine, but it does mean that the gemstone lays undisturbed and that colour is some of the purest that you will ever get. But it wasn't until I found that out that I could identify why it is that Burma seems to be the absolute 
best and one of the richest gemstone mining areas in the world, as in value of gemstone. $79.99 for natural Burmese sapphire. Not your price. We are going to be going low. We are going to be giving you the best possible deal for your natural Burmese blue sapphire today. The quality you are getting here is absolutely beautiful. Now, look at this. And it was a kind of a it was kind of widely, widely thought in the industry that Burmese sapphires weren't worth, weren't, weren't kind of weren't weren't worthy to be uh, um, uh, compared to the likes of your cashmere sapphire. Look at this. This is what um, um, this is what has been said about Burmese sapphires. Whilst the Burmese, uh, while the Burmese ruby is famed throughout the world as the finest of its kind, the Burmese sapphire has been um, has been unjustly dismissed as of poor quality. In actual fact, nowhere in the world are such superb sapphires produced as in Burma. And it is to do with the terrain, with the way in which they grow, with the way in which they are formed. Seventy nine ninety nine is not your price point today. To be able to get Burmese, any Burmese gemstone at all. Anywhere else in the world at the minute is almost impossible to be able to get it from us here at Joy Maker today is only because we have visited there and we went there on a uh, on a on a pilgrimage, if you like, uh, back in 2017. Now at 79.99, it is phenomenal for 25 carats of genuine natural Burmese um, sapphire, and I've already got people coming through, but it's no way near your price point today. Um, I love the look of these coins; are really unusual. What would you do with these, Monica? Ooh, well, I like the idea with the halo beads as well, but you yeah. can also. Um, you could bezel around them. You could you could almost do sort of because obviously I would put them with seed beads. <laughs> yeah. You could put like a seed bead halo around them as well. Nice one. Yeah. That would work. And um, they do spin around, which is quite nice because it, it's it's kind of um, it's tactile when you have a piece of jewelry with with flat coins in, unless of course you do something uh, that's really close to the skin, in which case they sit really nice and flat. So. Uh, you can go either way, but for earrings, for example, they twist around, oh, which is really And really with that nice. lapidary as well. I, mean, I would always be playing with them. If they were like yeah, this. no, but I think you're absolutely right. With that lapidary, yeah. they're just going to sparkle so beautifully. Yeah. $29.99. Well done, Mahu. Well done to uh, Lorna, Dorothy, Marie, Gabrielle, Maker. This is absolutely brilliant. Well done. We are at £29.99. It is unbelievably low for your incredible natural Burmese sapphire strand. Absolutely incredible love it with the rose gold love it with that gorgeous um spacer bead uh, design very very simple very very wearable really achievable well done sheila fantastic well done to you as well you are looking at a gemstone from one of the most important places on earth for gemstone mining it's just incredible isn't it well done for less than 30 pounds have a look at it with the gorgeous ruby we've got coming up as well. And the two together look absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, with your sapphires, they can differ massively in tone. In fact, a lot of Thai ruby that you get from um, uh, Chantaburi is acceptable at this colour. Where the saturation literally is through the roof and it becomes black and inky and dark. Would you describe this as black or inky or dark? No, I would describe it as blue with the most incredible intense saturation of colour, with the most beautiful uh, balance of tone, saturation and hue. 29.99, I can't believe I'm about to say this, is not your price today. I can't believe we're under a hundred pounds, under 50 pounds, let alone already under 30, and it's not your price today. We are gonna give you one more price, and it literally is only available for today. Lorna's got two, Sheila's got two, Sarah Ann, if you've never experienced genuine, natural Burmese sapphire before, we're about to literally break that price barrier. For everyone who's already checked out, you are going to get this today for the, for the final price. 
the final low price. How low do you think we can go? $27.99, $24.99, that would be amazing. What about $21.99? Oh my word, Sandra, Marie, well done to you. Loads of people coming through already. Lots of people adding this to their order. We will take this as low as we possibly can. We want this to be with you. We want this to, we want to give you access to the very, very finest. No one's expecting this though, $19.99. <laughs> oh my gosh. For genuine, natural Burmese wow. sapphire. This is the providence. This is the location. This is what you need. Gabrielle, Lorna has got two. Gabrielle's got two. Well done to you. Oh, amazing. Well done. Irene's got two. Elaine, Angela, Maker, Judith, Sandra. Oh, absolutely sensational. Absolutely gorgeous. In incredible deals for you today. Well done, everyone. Catherine in Lanark, she's through. Well done to you. We are under £20 for your natural Burmese sapphire. Incredible. Pat, well done to you. Jolanta, well done to you as well. This is absolutely fantastic. We do have two more strands of your natural sapphire coming up as well. Look at these. With your gorgeous ovals and of course your drops as well. They'll be coming up really, really shortly. So if you do want to put them together, last 30 opportunities available here for under 20 pounds. And they're not small. I mean, I can, no. I can only remember seven to ten mil. Having, oh, sorry, four to seven mil. Yeah, I can only remember us having sapphires in in the three millimeter rounds, or maybe in the chips. But yes, I don't. I mean, I don't watch every show, obviously, but I don't remember seeing them this size before. And so and so vibrant with their colour as well. I think you know, with yeah. a, with a lot of gemstones, sometimes the larger the size, you tend to lose a bit of colour, don't you? But this is still retaining that incredible colour. Even the big seven mil ones that you're going to be getting here, still got that incredible tone going through them. Under twenty pounds. Well done, Maker in London. Joyce in Kent. Well done to you. Uh, Sandra, Judith. Well done to you. Uh, Aberdeen, she's through. Well done. Nineteen ninety nine. Well done. Go, go, go. Check out your baskets. Well done. Absolutely amazing. OK, next. These ovals are beautiful. Wow. Do you know, there's some amazing examples in this strand. I don't know whether you can spot them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Colours in here, which are, you know, that. If I had to guess, I'd say that's like cashmere sapphire. Yeah. You like the deeper, darker ones? Yeah, I mean, the inky yeah. ones are gorgeous, aren't they? But not inky as in like you can't see into it. Inky as I mean like blue ink colour. Penny's already got two. This is great. Well done. That oval shape is so um, premier, isn't it? It's got that kind of prestige kind of feel about it because it, it's 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 around but it's more elongated so it's bigger it's got a bigger face look at that be that there Boy. that is like one in a ring that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of sapphire that one just there yeah. bezel set in a ring with maybe you see that? some smaller stones around it maybe that would look really lovely to make it stand out even more that there, just that one there, one, there, there. Ah, oh, beautiful. That bezel set into a ring, that's triple figures for me. And that's not even the biggest one on the strand. Make a, make a penny, well done to you. This is absolutely ridiculous already, isn't it? It's amazing we can bring you this. Here's the, here's the biggest one. We're going to give you the biggest opportunity we can. Oh, my word. One crash. It looks like quad a tanzanite, doesn't it? It's got that really deep, rich tone to it. <gasps> oh, but it's got violets. It's got the most gorgeous kind of... But look at this one here. It's got almost stripes going through it. That's just incredible. Beautiful. And that, and like I say, it's not even the biggest one on the strand. Lorna's got two. Catherine, make a penny. Absolutely phenomenal. OK, minute clock. Here we go. One crash. OK, let's just do this. OK, we have a minute to get involved. We are going to give you a ridiculous prize. Natural Burmese Sapphire Ovals. There they are, everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
Aren't they beautiful? Maker, Sarah Ann, well done to you. Lorna in Aberdeenshire has already got two. This is so good to see. Well done. Mix up the coins and the rounds, sorry, the coins and the ovals as well, I would. Really nice to be able to do that. They're lovely rounded shapes. Why not mix them up? See what happens. Look at the designs. Um, kind of imagine the designs you can create with these. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's take this as low as we can. Josephine, Maker, well done to you as well. Penny, well done to you in Essex. That's fantastic. Here we go. Gorgeous. All the way down. Enjoy. 19.99 matching. That is unbelievable, isn't it? Matching that price point. That is unbelievable. Oh, the phone lines. Yeah, look at everyone go. Well done, everybody. This is tremendous, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Beautiful quality. Amazing, amazing um, uh, kind of colours and beautiful presents. And yours today for under £20. Irene's just taken two. Maker in Powers has got this. Gabrielle's got two. Well done. Um, more bidders, more multi-bidders, I should say. Sheila, well done to you as well. That's just gorgeous. And you were mentioning earlier on as well, uh, Monica, about using gallery wire with some of your smaller beads. I reckon you could yep. probably do it with these, couldn't you? Uh, definitely. It's the sterling silver gallery wire that we've had sometimes mm. before that would look amazing with these. Yeah, it really would, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you could cut the prongs down as well yeah. to kind of fold them over and really kind of give it that wonderful kind of border, that kind of frame it truly deserves. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Which is quite nice that, that they're not rounds, actually, because obviously it's harder to use your gallery wire with rounds. But the, fla the fact that they're slightly sort of a flatter shape makes mm. it really nice for, for setting in, in things. I absolutely. Think. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Gorgeous. Well done. OK. Next, let's do hearts. Mm. OK. This one's my favourite. <laughs> oh, my word. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So these are your favourites. Why are they your favourites, Monica? Well, I'm imagining in my head sort of a, a bridal piece, a, a big pearl necklace, and then make a, a flower out of these. And oh, sort of on the yes! One side. What a lovely idea. Something, there's something blue as well. But, Ooh! Yes. A flower out of these, because, of course, you've got that lovely heart shape, which is, I mean, you can see it on the recording there, great for petals. Yes. Oh, with seed pearls in the middle, maybe. Some, there's some gorgeous kind of almost tealy colours going through here as well. Not just your blues, but your lovely kind of almost green teal colours here. This is from... The Magog Valley in Burma. This doesn't get any rarer. This doesn't get any more scarce. This doesn't get any more naturally beautiful as this. This is it. This is how it comes out of the ground. This hasn't been heat treated. This hasn't been coated or beryllium treated or diffused or anything. It's completely and utterly natural. This is how it comes out of the ground. Aren't we lucky to have this? 22 carats of your natural Burmese sapphire. And when you consider that the market, you know, and, and this isn't just for sapphire, this is for gemstones like garnet as well. The, the kind of industry standard is black, pretty much. So if I show you this image, which um, Neri found... This is widely regarded as acceptable sapphire colour. This, this one here. Ink, black, dark, nothing. And the same goes for garnet. Areas of extinction, darkness. I don't want that. I want the life, the energy, the colour, the clarity. I want all of it. $17.99. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, for natural Burmese sapphire. Ah! Well done, Sarah Ann, Lorna, Patricia Gabrielle's got two. Well done to you, Karen Maker. Well done. That is tremendous, isn't it? $17.99. I would love to see, as Monica says, a bridal commission with these yes. made into gorgeous flowers, maybe sitting at the collarbone or maybe yes. a corsage on the wrist or you know, earrings maybe. But even if, you, if you're a complete beginner, you've never made a piece of jewellery before, just restrand that using the same spaces because you've got some glass bugle beads in between them there. Just use the same ones, just strand it, put a clasp on the, and an extension chain maybe on the back. And, you know, it'll cost you less than £20 and you've made a sapphire necklace. Exactly, that's first, it. Even, you know, as your first ever piece of jewellery. I mean, can you imagine? You cannot <laughs> underestimate the importance of owning sapphire. Not just any sapphire, natural Burmese sapphire. This is it, everyone. This is it. This is the big one. Judith, well done to you. Lynn, maker, maker. Well done, Patricia. Absolutely fantastic. 
Yours today for £17.99. Well done. Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. 0800 644 655. Go, 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 go. So, coming up in a couple of moments, we have got the most amazing Ruby. But one thing that we've all, I think, we, I think Monica's mentioned, I've mentioned, Neary's definitely mentioned as well, is about putting these sapphires and beautiful rubies with something else. And that something else is pearls. Wait until you see these. Right, this is really special. Uh, we were meant to bring these to you yesterday. We didn't have time. I don't think they actually showed up, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we've got them today. And um, we, def we definitely, 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 definitely wanted to put them into today's show. And I think just with, uh, with us all kind of thinking about kind of high quality jewellery, high end jewellery, fine jewellery, I don't think you can get much finer than using your incredible Burmese natural sapphire, your natural gorgeous ruby that we've got coming up with your incredible pearls. These, it's quite difficult to kind of ascertain how big these are. You look at them there, they could be seven mil, they could be 10 mil, they could be four mil, they could be, hmm, okay. Shall I pick them up and then you can see? That's how big they are. Oh my word. Yep. 13 to 14 mil in size. They are absolutely tremendous. They're huge, absolutely gigantic. Pearls are valued on size, nacre, orient, shape. These are magnificently big, aren't they? As far as shape is concerned, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're perfect rounds. I don't care. I actually prefer pearls that look like this, this kind of slight baroque shape. Nacre, beautiful, flawless, well, not, relatively flawless, gorgeous skin on them, beautiful thick nacre. You can tell that because of the luminosity. And of course, size. Well, they are just monsters. They, oh, hello. They are just absolutely gigantic, aren't they? They all come with these sterling silver pegs. So literally, get your hyper cement glue, your two-part epoxy glue, and glue these bad boys into your pearls. Yeah, entirely, utterly beautiful and gorgeous. There they are, with your sterling silver pegs added to them. Aren't they gorgeous? Are you ready? for the opportunity of a lifetime. White freshwater cultured Baroque pearls, 13 to 14 mil. And yes, you are going to be getting three. Yes, you are going to be getting three in total. Oh my word, could this be any better? Are you looking at three pendants? Are you looking at three, a, 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 a pair of earrings and a pendant? Are you looking at three gifts? Are you, you know, what, tell me, what are you looking at here? What are you getting here? Three enormous 13 to 14 mil pearls, all with sterling silver pegs, with the lovely little bale uh, jumping on top as well, ready to use, ready to go. Just literally glue them in, leave it for 24 hours. Good to go, good to go. Price point on these today, absolutely fa What? Are you planning on doing that? How many do we have, Neary? Ah, okay. Would you mind turning that round for me, Dan, just so I can see how many people we've got with us in their baskets? What I, and, 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 and the reason why I'm asking that is just literally, um, 
I'm just going to ask you, just put this in your baskets. You like the look of these? You want a decent price on these? Just put them in your baskets. You don't have to check out yet. We just need to see you there. If we can see the interest, we've got 78 chances. If we can see the interest, then we will... I can't believe we're actually going to do the price that Neary's wants to do. Okay, this is, this, is, this is silly. If we do this price, you've got to understand we cannot do this every day. If we do this price, you've got to understand we will, we will not be doing this again. We can't do this again. Okay, well, there's loads of you there. Okay, this is great to see. I need to see more of you. I need to see loads and loads. I need to see at least 70 people there for us to be able to warrant the price point that, that we can hopefully maybe do. By the way, if we do the price, yeah, the pegs are included. Yep, yeah, all, all, all included. They won't come glued in. They come to you like this. They're all sterling silver. Okay, bomb, 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 done. Okay, and um, when we bring you things like this it's very easy to get kind of wrapped up in oh yes oh look here yes i'm getting three but in all honesty how much would you pay for just one if that was deal of the day and it was bought to air for i don't know each you know just for one pearl 69.99 that would completely sell out what about 49.99 just for that one pearl and the peg that's amazing and I reckon, you know, that there are places where you could sell this easily for 10 times the amount that you bought it for. That's an enormous 13 to 14 mil pearl you're getting there. It's absolutely gigantic. This isn't a piddly, nothing, rubbishy, chalky, wishy-washy pearl. This is big. It's substantial. It's got a huge size. It's got a beautiful skin. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay? But you're not just getting one. You're getting three. And you're getting three sterling silver pegs. Three sterling silver, yeah? Lorna has got two. Maker, James, Kathy. Oh, there's loads. Oh, my word, there's so many people there. Nicola, Marilyn, June, Maker. The deal we're about to do is ridiculous, it's stupid, and it's highly illegal. Carolyn Devon, you've got six loads of these in your baskets. James, you've got three packs of these in your baskets. Maker and Dorset, you've got two loads in your basket. This is wonderful. Minute clock, and then it's one price. Lorna's already bought two. Well done, sweetheart. Which means two packs. You're getting six of these pearls. And whether she's going to be using all six of them or getting two packs home so she can make that informed choice of which pack she wants to keep and send the others back, that's fine. That's absolutely fine by me, darling. That's what your 30 uh, a day money back guarantee is there for. It's there for you to make that informed choice, for you to make that final decision, putting you in that driving seat so you can make that decision. Yeah? These are some of the biggest pearls, either freshwater or South Sea, that we have ever done. They are 13 to 14 mil in size. They are giants of the pearl world. Janice, Marianne, Jackie, oh my word, everyone is coming through to get these. This is so good to see. This fills my heart with joy. Okay, 13 seconds and you're going to get the price point of your life. Everyone who's already checked out, by the way, you're going to be up in your orders. Fact. Everyone who's got this in the baskets, it's a fight to the finish because we are doing these today. One pearl 18 months ago would have cost you this. You're getting three and you're getting the pegs today. I can't believe I'm about to say this. $29.99. No word of a lie. I bought you, uh, it must be 18 months, two years ago, one Baroque pearl. No peg, just one half drill Baroque pearl for 30 quid. And that's amazing. These pearls are working out to £10 each and the pegs and the bales are free. That's what we can do here on Jewelry Maker. That is what we are doing for you today. And the phone lines on the web have gone absolutely bonkers. Well done. In baskets, Dagmar, Ruth, Susan, Mary, Diane, Maker, Penny, Marilyn, uh, Jackie, Maker, Marianne, James, Kathy, Jill, Nicola, Tracy, Lynette, Carolyn, all in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Can you believe it? $29.99. Grace, check out. Well done. There's about a five-person queue on the phone lines. Do not leave these in your baskets. If you leave them in your baskets, you will miss out. Christine, Anne, well done to you. Check out. Penny, Ruth's got two loads. Well done, everyone. Joyce has got two uh, packs of these. Maker and Dorset's got two packs now. That's wonderful to see. Well done. Yours for just £29.99. Unbelievable. 27 chances remaining. That is it. That's all we've got left for today. 
Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. So many more people coming through. This is just fantastic. So many people. Five people waiting for their phone uh, calls to be answered. Anne, Grace, Dagmar, Mary, your phone calls will be answered any second now, okay? It would be good if they could be answered. Just hold the lines. We know that you're there. By the way, everybody, everybody who's got these in their baskets on the website or on the app, you are running a really dangerous game because we've got, only got 22 chances left. There's loads of people on the phone lines there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pearls. Can you believe it? £10 per pearl and basically all that sterling silver's for free. June, your call will be answered in a second. Sue in Yorkshire, check out. Maker in Oxfordshire, check out. Absolutely fantastic. Yours for $29.99. Lynette in Worcestershire, well done to you as well. Absolutely brilliant. Lots more people coming. Oh, Dagmar, well done. Your call's been answered. Oxfordshire, well done to you as well. Glenda in Bridgend, Sue in South Yorkshire. Got my pearls. Woohoo! So excited, says Jill. Yes, Jill. Amazing. I have to say, they are tremendously good quality pearls. And price point wise, I, I, just, I just can't see how we can be better. That's absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Okay. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Well done. Okay. So coming up now. We have got the most amazing ruby. These are natural rubies. And do you know what? It was quite interesting, actually. Neri and I were uh, looking at these rubies this morning. And we were having to remind ourselves that these are natural gemstones. They are completely and utterly natural. They are rare. They are really, really, really rare. Uh, rare in the fact that they're completely natural, they're untreated. Rubies are treated in lots of different ways, and, and I've got a bit of information about that. But just, um, and you may have heard this before, uh, that uh, approximately 95% of rubies are treated in some way, shape or form. And it's kind of very easy for me to say that, but what does that actually look like? Okay, so... This is a, a lovely slide which Neri has uh, prepared for you today. It's got 100 dots on it. And uh, that's 100 dots. That represents 100% uh, percent, obviously. Five at the, in, in, in the bottom right-hand corner, those five red dots, that represents the amount of rubies in 100 that aren't treated. That's completely natural, yeah? Uh, are untreated rubies expensive? Nevertheless, the prices of natural untreated rubies continue to break records. In fact, ruby commands the highest price per carat um, price of all coloured gemstones. In 2005, an untreated eight carat Burmese ruby sold for a record 2.2 US million, uh, sorry, 2.2 million US dollars. Um, the most common treatment is the application of heat. Most rubies at the lower end of the market are heat treated to improve colour, remove purple tinges, blue patches and silk. These heat, treat uh, these heat treatments typically occur at around about temperatures of about um, 1800 degrees C. Now, what you are looking at here is not rubies of the lower end. Because you are looking here at really rich maroon qualities. They are absolutely incredible. We're starting off with these faceted drops. And it's interesting when you start reading um, information about prices of ruby, baseline pricing based on what's available in our inventory, the vast majority of rubies that weigh around a carat or at least $1,000 a carat. This amount easily doubles if the ruby has not been treated, okay? And will increase steeply for rubies that show good color. And it says even if they have been heat treated. So these are natural. Look at our start price. $49.99. That just dispels everything that we've just... I mean, these should not be that price. On this strand, by the way, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. These are over... These are averaging, obviously not the diddy ones there, but these are averaging over a carat a piece that you're going to be getting here. Already amazing at 49.99. Karen, maker in five. Maker, Lorna and Aberdeenshire. Well done to you. 
Absolutely fantastic already. This is brilliant to see. Well done. Okay, we're already amazingly pricing this at 49.99. Marianne, well done to you. I would be saying definitely put this with the um, sapphire. It's not just the fact that they go together because they're both precious gemstones. They go together because they're basically the same gemstone. They're both members of the Corundum family. So sapphire and ruby are the same gemstone. Uh, the red variety of corundum is called ruby. The blue variety of corundum is called sapphire. And everything kind of in between is either your uh, fancy sapphire. Um, yeah, your fancy sapphire. There we go. So uh, all the way from India, beautiful. Lorna, well done to you. Karen, well done to Marianne, well done. Oh, this is wonderful to see. 49.99, not your deal today. You can get natural ruby jewellery in a lot of different places, um, uh, but it does command unbelievably high prices. There is a real move towards natural gemstones. A lot of people want natural gemstones. You can look at this lovely pair of antique diamond ruby silver 14 karat gold flower drop earrings. They're five and a half thousand pounds. And I would say that the rubies used in that pair of earrings there, I don't know, but um, can we show that, Levy? Oh, oh, sorry, thank you. That ruby show um, uh, in that pair of earrings there is of an equal quality to what we have here today. Yes, I know you've got 14 karat gold and you've got the diamonds in there as well, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. 49.99. Look at Monica's face, she's just heard the price. 17.99. <laughs> Oh, my word. Patricia Gabrielle wow. Maker. Oh, yes. Lorna, well done. That is a brand new loaf. This is amazing for genuine natural ruby. Incredible. Judith Gabrielle's now got two. That's fantastic. Well done to you. Essex, well done to you. Five. Fantastic. £17.99. pence. To, to think that you can make a full ruby necklace, a full ruby suite of jewellery for under £20 is unthinkable. Well, not really. No, you can do it today. You can get it home today. Maker, Patricia, well done to you as well. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Well done to everyone at 17.99. It's just tremendous, isn't it? We've got some coins coming up now. And also just to show you this beautiful bracelet, which has been made by our in-house designers as well. Gorgeous, there you go. We'll put these ones on pre-order. We might not have time to play them before the end of the hour. The gorgeous uh, top drilled uh, kind of fat drops. But we're going to do the fasted coins. Now, I missed a trick. Earlier on, I should have shown you these together, shouldn't I? I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mixed together, don't they just look the business? They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just look at the colour of them. I mean, it's... Yeah, rich, gemmy, saturated berry, tones. Berry colours. Mm. Yes, absolutely. It's blueberries and raspberries. Do you know, and, and do you know what? They look expensive. Yeah. They look heritage, don't they? I often liken it to, if you look at um, medieval tapestries or things like that, yes. or you look at kind of Tudor kind of uh, fabrics, or even going back to kind of William Morris, which is nowhere near, you know, we're talking Victorian times now, Vic um, uh, uh, Victorian wallpaper and heavy fabrics and paisleys. It's yeah. these colours, it's these yeah. heritage kind of period colours. It's those, it's colours from the earth, isn't it? These kind of colours that you're getting, I mean, I know they are colours from the earth because they're, they're naturally coloured, but these are kind of your, kind of, the reds here are kind of oxide, ox blood reds. It's that haemoglobin colour. And although I wouldn't describe this as pigeon blood red because it doesn't have the level of clarity that I would say commands that, that, that kind of notoriety, it's got that kind of depth, that morello cherryness. Mua, well done to you, my lovely Gabrielle, Sarah Ann, Maker, Linda, Lynn, Brenda, Maker, Maker, Maker. Loads of people coming through, extraordinarily popular. Here we go. Oh, no. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> he just said 1999. Both of us reacted. He said, is not your price. 30 second clock. Don't do that. Don't do that, Neary. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't. Oh, oh no. no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Dan. No, no, no. Dan's looking worried. Oh, 
Oh my word. Quick, check out now. Check out. <laughs> on this check price. out now. We have got 150 of these because I'll tell you something. Don't do this. Oh, Neary. Oh my gosh, I can't even look at the camera. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh gosh, look at the price. Okay, we need to see the phone lines literally lighting up. Show us that dot thing again, that dot slide. We're talking 95-ish <laughs> percent of on the dot. 95% uh, of your ruby out there is treated in some way, shape or form. It's been glass filled or fissure filled or heated or diffused or beryllium treated. Only literally five out of that 100 are natural. That's it. That's what we're looking at here. This is so special. All the way down. I don't know what price you're thinking, but I'll tell you something. It ain't $17.99. And it's not even... It's not even $14.99. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. I know. Gordon, Adri, oh my word, it's absolutely flying out the door. It's completely 100% natural. Absolutely amazing. Here we go. Part has got two. Heather's got two. Well done to you. All the way down. Linda's got two. Joyce has got two. Marion's got three. Lorna's got two. Ah! £12.99. Go, go, go. Vivian's got two. There you go. £12.99. That is the most ridiculous price I think I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. Get it to go with that. Your natural Burmese sapphire. Oh, the depth, yeah. The saturation, the quality. That is a stupid deal. We're on, we're on, I think we're actually on the verge of devaluing this stone at this price. But do you know what? I think you know, you understand the deal you're getting. You understand the quality of what you're getting. If you want the other strand, by the way, we'll be putting it on our website as well. So do make sure you add it onto your order. Well done. $12.99. Kathleen's got two. Elaine's got two. The amount of multi bidders is absolutely wild. It's wonderful. Well done. Gorgeous. Well done. Loads and loads and loads in baskets. Absolutely superb. What an incredible deal for you today. Go, 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 go. Lynn, Stella, Tracy, Stephanie, Maker, Kathy, Patricia, Adri, Penny, Brenda, Jill, Lynn, Marie, Maker, Susan, Helen, Lynn, Maker. Loads in baskets. Absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Check out my lovely. Tess has just checked out. Well done. The phone lines have lit up. Oh, it's beautiful. That's not a 12.99 strand. No. Move that decimal <laughs> point. It's not even 129.99 a strand. It's natural ruby. Representative of literally 5% of all rubies are natural. You've got a strand of it here for under 13 pounds. Wow. Crazy. Three of these with the drops on the end for earrings. Yes, Heather, I like that idea. Coming up next, talking of the ultimate in luxury we have got cartier wallace simpson inspired oh you could kits you could add some rubies to these kits. add the rubies to the kits <laughs> just go all out don't go anywhere we will see you in a couple of seconds Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelrymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, 
along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I'm having all of these, by the way, all of these kits. I'm having, I'm having all of that and all of that because I want to make that. <laughs> See, I already have them, but I still want more of them. So. <laughs> Monica, please you please, literally please have done someone. yourself. You've done yourself. You've done yourself proud here. Where on earth? Did you get your idea from for this? For this one? Mm. Um, well, I was inspired by the... Uh, by the, the brief. The brief, yes. So, <laughs> plus, I mean, I mean, obviously that pendant has to be sort of the focal point, doesn't it? So... It is unbelievable what you've done here. It really genuinely is. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Um, you have got here a symbol and a a theme which is so striking, which is so... I don't know about you, but whenever I think of uh, Cartier, I think of their famous panther design. Yeah. I think of that incredible uh, uh, kind of exotic uh, jewellery brand, that couture brand, which has got one of the most striking um, uh, kind of... Um, uh, uh, design. Oh, look at that record. The, even the recording of this looks incredible. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it just looks so expensive. I mean, the detail on that pendant is amazing. It really is. It really is, isn't it? And this all comes from the uh, design which was commissioned, but also not just not just created for, created by. Wallace Simpson herself. First slide I'm going to show you here is a photograph of Wallace Simpson and King Edward 
the 8th. And it remains one of the most romantic, controversial and talked about love stories in history. Her jewellery collection, which showed a strong preference for creations by Cartier, was unique. Not only were her pieces chosen and commissioned by a king for the woman he loved, but they represented some of the finest and most avant-garde designs of that period. Not to mention dominating contemporary taste in jewellery from the 1930s. And it, was, and it was Wallace Simpson's kind of taste, and she was known as a woman of incredible taste. It was her taste that I think really influenced the jewellery of the period, which is, you know, 1930s, it was all about big, colourful brooches, and it was about animal jewellery. You know, people were all of a sudden, um, kind of from the 1920s onwards, people were able to travel further abroad, whether it be by train, whether it be by... Uh, whether it be by airplane, but um, the exotic kind of animals, toucans, birds of paradise, leopards, lions, um, you know, all of these animals played such a huge part in, in jewellery design. And big brooches of them, I think, were directly inspired by Wallace Simpson's love of animals and the leopard as well. And, and of course, the leopard ties in with Cartier as well. Uh, beautifully, some of their chief uh, designers um, uh, and their love of leopards. And I know this is very, very controversial, but uh, one of Cartier's leading uh, designers had uh, leopard skins um, uh, around her apartment. And I know that's, that's you know, incredibly unethical and, and, you know, hugely controversial. But it was all to do with the, 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 the kind of the majesty of the leopard. That's why it was used in Cartier design. It wasn't just one piece that Wallace Simpson owned. Um, this is just what this is just the one of the main pieces. But you can see she's in the background of that photograph there. She's holding it over her hand. Wallace Simpson bracelet fe uh, fetches record four point five million pounds at auction. One of the twenty pieces of jewellery owned by the Duke and Duchess of Windsor that raised close to eight million pounds at Sotheby's. A bracelet owned uh, by uh, Wallace Simpson, whose love affair with Edward the Fifth. Sorry, I beg your pardon, Edward the Eighth led to his abdication, has sold for a world record four and a half million pounds at auction. The Cartier designed onyx and diamond panther bracelet reached uh, four and a half million pounds at Sotheby's in central London last night. The highest price a bracelet has ever been sold for at auction. It also became the most expensive Cartier item to be sold at any auction. It was one of 20 pieces owned by the late Duchess, Duke and Duchess of Windsor to go under the hammer in the sale, which raised a total of 7.9 million pounds. The jewellery has been expected to reach uh, fetch in the region of three million. Oh, sorry, had been expected to reach in the region of three million. Um, and this is directly inspired by, by Wallace Simpson's pieces. And she, the, the amazing thing is, she didn't just say, I, this is what I want. She was part of the design process, both her and, um, and the king were, um, Edward VIII were part of the design process. Just gorgeous. And I've got, a, I've got one more slide to show you, which talks about kind of later on, the Duchess of Windsor, uh, as she was known after marrying Edward, loved the brooch so much that one year later she bought another one, this time a panther in platinum studded with diamonds and sapphire spots crouching on a 152-carat on a cabochon sapphire. Today, this piece can be admired in the Cartier exhibition, sorry, in Cartier exhibitions. It's, it, it is beautiful. It captures the shape of the panther. And I think that, you know, this captures the shape of the leopard absolutely beautifully. It just looks so expensive and so beautiful. And it's been so, the, the piece which you've created suits it down to the ground. These, these kits and this design is not about shying away. It's not about being a wallflower. It's about saying, here I am. Here's my jewellery. I love it. I love this style of jewellery. These kits are going to sell out. We have two kits available. They have been flying on pre-order. Your first kit, the gold-plated kit. This is astonishing. I think this is one of the most beautiful kits we put together in the last 12 months. 
You are getting 11 0 galvanized gold seed beads. You are getting, oh my gosh. I'm holding these with such reverence. Two meters of shell pearls in this gorgeous, sorry, uh, yes, in this gorgeous gold color. Um, what are the two sizes? Are they four and six mil? Four and six mil, yes. Yeah, four and six mil. You then get a load of glass beads as well. Even just the color combination, this black and gold, it's Gucci, it's Cartier, it's Chopard. It's all of those big French design houses and Cartier, obviously one of the main, main features. And even now you look at the Cartier designs, if you walk down Bond Street or if you go to Paris or you know, any of the big European cities and you look at the, in, in, in the window of Cartier and almost always they will have something to do with a panther or a leopard on show, whether it's for sale or not. And here he is. This... This is astonishing. You are getting here a plated, uh, a gold plated panther with cabixiconia studded in its face and of course green cabixiconia for the eyes as well. Sitting on top of a tassel with chain coming from the bottom. It is, it is absolutely astonishing. Look at the three dimensional quality you are getting there. It's not a suggestion or a two dimensional picture of a leopard, it, it, sorry, of a panther. It's a full on, you've got the entire head, you've got the ears, the recesses for the ears, you've got the nose. Look at the beautiful nose you're getting there. Isn't he got, look at this, oh my gosh, look at that, straight on, like, look at his little nose and his little jowls as well, kind of, well, they're not jowls, are they kind of underneath the nose? And that's slightly kind of, yeah, where the whiskers would be. It's just exquisite. I think they've captured the, the essence of a leopard really well because you look at that and you, you don't see a cat you don't see a lion face you actually see a leopard you see face. a proper kind of big yeah. cat don't you? you see a big cat absolutely stunning monica i know monica's definitely oh. taken this brief and just gone yeah reach for the stars that's it this is amazing monica wow i know now monica you are so talented i'm in awe yeah i mean and also by the way this moves this this this, this is this is completely well not completely separate but it does move yeah I must just show you that. Yeah, so this does move. It's, 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 it's just incredible. It's just, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it is like a door knocker the way it's got it in its jaws, isn't it? It's so clever. Also reminds me of some of the Butler and Wilson pieces. Yeah, do you know what? And pieces of the, pieces of the time were all about animals. It was about, it was about you know, people travelling far afield to places like Africa, to places like India, to go and see elephants, to go and see, um, you know, lions, you know, places, places that people had never been to before. Uh, and it was because of steam travel. It was because of uh, steamed um, uh, uh, boats. And of course, because of the arrival of airplane travel as well, that it was that it was absolutely, you know, one of those things that people were able to do. You know, the wealthy were able to do that. OMG, that's divine, Monica. You're a genius. Much love. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, price for this kit. We have literally sat down with these kits and we've thought, right, what what would be a decent price for these kits? You got the shell pearl. You've got. I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, eighty quid would be brilliant. Oh, brilliant! Okay, sixty nine ninety nine. Fantastic! You got the shell pearl. You got the glass beads. You got the seed beads. You've got this incredible Cartier Wallace Simpson inspired uh, leopard. You see, he's absolutely gorgeous. Wow! 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 Stunning! Really brilliant. I know it's pretty. It's pretty darn good, isn't it? And pretty also, darn good. Also, those shell purse trainers that just go on and on and on. I mean, I, yeah. I made this necklace. I made a pair of earrings. I still have enough in the same style to make a bracelet, and then I will still have about half of the six millimeter strand left over at the end. No. So they just keep on going. And oh going. my gosh! It's not going to be sixty nine ninety nine. How many of these kits do we have, Neri? 
Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you first. First of all, we have 150 of this kit. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. We priced it today for a sellout. What, a 69.99? Yeah, well, why not? Please leave me a couple. <laughs> so with your... So with your metre long strands, with your, with your six millimetre gemstones, you get approximately 166 beads. On the point four, about 250. Yeah. 416 beads, approximately. All of your glass, um, uh, black, your, your black glass beads. How many of your, how many of your black glass beads do Hundreds. you get? Hundreds. A okay. hundred. And then thousands of your seed beads. And then the absolute centerpiece, the feature. What are you thinking? 50 pounds, yeah? 40 pounds, nope, 29.99. My mind is blown, my mind is literally blown. I have, ab that's absolutely incredible. It's unbelievable. It's an entire collection. It's an entire craft stall. It's unbelievable, Jack. For $29.99, you can literally, yeah, literally make your money from, forget about this, make your money um, from stretches. Yeah, but don't forget about that because I would And never pay, use, and I don't would, even use this. I would pay the $29.99 just for the- Oh my gosh, Monica. Monica, Monica says you pay $29.99 just for this. I'd pay double, I'd pay triple. It's Cartier Wallace Simpson inspired. This isn't just some random design that we've come up with. This is directly inspired by one of the most, oh, yes, controversial, but one of the most beautiful romantic love affairs. This guy stood down from being the king of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth so he could be with the woman he loved. He abdicated the throne so he could be with the woman he loved. That's pretty amazing. The queen became the queen because of this. I mean, it's unbelievable. The ripple effect. But when you talk about it is, it is, it is, it is unbelievably romantic. Yes, controversial. She was a controversial character. But uh, I'm sure the Panther is saying, LBD, here I come. <laughs> I know. It is so little black dress. It's Yves Saint Laurent. It's just, it's incredible. These are flying out the door. This, uh, this kit's absolutely amazing. And we've got the silver one coming up next as well. Um, it is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> just gorgeous. Well done. Yours today for under £30. Brenda, Maker's got three. So many people multi-buying these. Absolutely incredible. Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely superb. What an amazing opportunity for you today. Can you show the back? Yeah, of course. Is it a panther? Is it a leopard? I'm not entirely sure because it says panther, but also it says leopard. I don't know. It's a big... Well, isn't a panther and a leopard... Uh... A panther's black and a leopard's got spots. Yeah, but but a it's the same, it's the it's same, same animal. Same animal. Color, because the, a black panther's also got spots. You just can't see them as clearly. Do you know what? I saw a photograph actually of a panther, a black panther, and you could see its spots. It was mm. absolutely gorgeous. Have you ever seen one in the wild? No. Have you not? A leopard. Leopard. Yes. You've seen a leopard. Yeah. Have you really? <laughs> They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh my gosh! Are they big? Are they? Are they uh, smaller than you would expect? I really? Would say. Yeah. I was amazed by how small cheetahs are, actually. They're, yeah. they're really quite small, aren't they? But yeah, just am amazing. I, you know, I, I can imagine being almost impossible to find, almost impossible to see. Um, just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Yours today for under £30. What a deal. Still got loads of people with us in the baskets. Still got loads of people with us in the baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Well done. OK, shall we do the, sil shall we do the silver one, Levy? Yeah, come on, let's do the silver one. Right. Yeah, just a warning that there's like literally less than 30 chances left. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is gonna that that is gonna sell out, okay? I'm, now I need to get another gold one because my mum's already taken this necklace. Well, do you know what? <laughs> and it is one of those things you, you see it and you're just like, <laughs> right, I'm having that. Because that is it is because it's just got so much, it's got so much going for it, this design. You can just tell that inspiration. Now, 
This kit here. This beauty. It's even got the same colour eyes. Look at this. Directly inspired. Boom. Fact. We could get Wallace and King Edward on the split screen there, couldn't we? Going live over to... No, let's not do that. <laughs> Who was the one with the stammer? It was Edward's brother, wasn't it? It, it was Bertie. B -b -b Bertie, but that wasn't his name. His name was, uh, was it Albert? It must have been Albert, I guess. Yeah, no, in the movie, that's what, that, that's it. Uh, Guy Pearce plays, um, um, plays uh, King Edward VIII. Have you not seen the movie, The King's Speech? Guy P yeah. Guy Pearce, the, the Australian actor. Yeah. Yes, he's very good. Anyway, so you've got here a direct, I mean, this is a direct kind of uh, inspiration there, isn't it? You've got that, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So you've got your beautiful uh, panther, and that's the one with the black onyx in it. Was that the one set into platinum? I think it might be. And you've got here that direct uh, kind of, yeah, that direct kind of inspiration there. Look at that with the Cabixiconia in the eyes, the green Cabixiconia, the, the white Cabixiconia, which is like shining diamonds. Look at that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? There he is. Look at that. Come on, guys. Yeah, the eyes. The eyes are almost the same shape as well. Yeah. Look at the eye. Look at the, look at the ears. Look at that. Isn't he lovely? Just beautiful. Okay, so you've got in this kit silver shell pearls. You've got with, uh, you can see them on the recording there. You've got with this kit your silver uh, lined uh, crystal seed beads. And you've also got your beautiful. Your spots. Those are your spots. <laughs> Those are your spots. Yes, I like that. The, bl the black glass beads, those are your spots. There they are. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lanarkshire's got this. Well done to you. We're going to take that price as low as we can. But then look at the other jewellery which Monica's made. Very 1930s. It is, isn't it? Pearls by the yard, kind of <laughs> Chanel inspired. Love those earrings. They look like jellyfish. Yeah, those earrings. Don't you think? Those earrings are a little bit of a preview because my next booklet is going to be something like that. Is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, oh, isn't that lovely? I love the way that you've encircled the shell pup. That's really, that works so well. Yeah, it's monochrome, but with silver yeah. rather than it being black and white. It, 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 it's it very it, stylish, it very you wear it as well, because you can wear it with any colour. Yes, of course you can. That's lovely. Oh my gosh, that's a lariat necklace. Oh, you clever thing. <laughs> $27.99? Yeah, just get it. Go, go, go. Well done. There's millions of people coming through for this now. And it's all about... Rawr. It's all about this bad boy. Yeah. Aren't they just gorgeous? Beautiful big cat inspired. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? You could be that indulgent, Ollie. Ollie said, do you know what? You could just get one of these and just put it on the bottom of a zip. You could though, couldn't you? I know. Make it into a bag charm. That's such a great oh, idea, yeah. actually. Make it into a bag charm. That's so awesome, isn't it? Fantastic, for less than 30 pounds, that's amazing. And that's such a good deal. Yeah. Such a good deal for 29.99. Absolutely phenomenal, well done. Loads of multi bidders coming through. Mm. Yeah, they are absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Gorgeous. Last 50 opportunities, well done. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Okay, right, Monica, what are you going to do for your demo then, lovely? Well, I did put a question on Facebook whether I should demo um, this necklace or the um, this necklace or the uh, the silver one with a pendant on. Did the gold one win? Yeah, I thought it yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> a few people said, "Can I do the gold one and the silver beads?" So here, oh, I, am. here I am. <laughs> oh gosh, you are too good. You're too kind. So the necklace, if you look at it, it's really just a, a slight variation on uh, filled netting. Uh, but I kind of wanted to bring the focus onto the pendant, so that's why I did the little flare on the end. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that and also how to add the spots in because obviously you've got the, the spots in there. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Right. So start with your, um, I'm using my six pound fire line, you could use your eight pound or you, your wild fire uh, and standard size 10 beading needle. Thread as much thread as you can uh, work with. You will need quite a lot. You might be able to make one section with one piece of thread if you can use sort of two arm lengths of thread. Okay, you don't need to stop a bead. Okay, so you're gonna start off by picking up one of your four millimeter pearls, then a spacer. I'm gonna call these spacers really. This, well, this, they're the seed beads, but anyway. I'm using them kind of as spacers here. Uh, so a pearl, a spacer or a seed bead, another pearl, another seed bead, okay? And then for the fourth one, I'm going to pick up one of the spots, okay? And then another seed bead, right? So that's the combination that you're gonna start with, mm -hmm. okay? So bring those down to the end of your thread. You don't need too much of a tail, just enough to sort of uh, finish off at the end. So leave about 10 centimeters. Bring your, bead, your needle through all of your beads again. Okay, and then bring oh, your yes. thread through. Okay, and then tie your two threads into a double knot to bring those together into a circle. Okay. Lovely. So you've got this little circle here. Yes. So now what you want to do is you want to take your thread through that seed bead that is next to your knot. Okay, don't pull it too hard because you don't want to put the knot inside the seed bead. You want it to be next to it because you will need to go through the seed bead again. Uh-huh. Okay, so now we're going to start with our netting. So we're going to pick up five seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're going to go through the next seed bead. Okay, then we're going to pick up five again. One, two, three, four, five. Through the next one. So you're kind of making something that looks a bit like a flower here. Okay, five again. One, two, three, four, five. Next one. And then another five again. One, two, three, four, five. And through the next. Now, here, just watch that you go through that seed bead that's between your black bead and your pearl. Okay? So, first, go through that one. And then you want to come out. So, on your first petal here, where you've got your five beads that you've added, you want to come out of the middle bead. So, you want to go through the next three beads next three seed beads, okay, put your thread through, okay. So now we're going to add the large beads again. So now our thread is coming out above the black bead, so now we're going to pick up a black bead again, okay, and then we're going to go through the middle bead on the next petal, okay, so that's one, two, the third one along, okay. Now when I do this, I like to put the thread, if you pull that tight, you'll see the black one sits almost above the, the black before it, but at a bit of an angle because we're creating kind of like a spiral, okay? So I like to put the thread around my finger to hold it tight so that it all sits nice and snug, doesn't sort of pull apart and loosen, okay? Then you're gonna pick up another pearl. I'm just using the four millimeter pearls at the moment. Actually, I'm gonna get these out of the way. Bring these a bit closer. Stop me from reaching over every time. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you're gonna spin around and now you're gonna go through the middle bead in your next petal. So that's the middle one. Okay, again, if you pull it tight, you'll see that this round that you're doing now is starting to sit on top of, your, of that base round of beads that you started mm -hmm. with. Okay, so pick up another pearl. Oh. And again, go through the middle bead on the next petal. Okay. And then another pearl. Okay, and then, now remember when we first picked up the black one, we, were, we came out of the middle bead on that petal. Okay. So you wanna go through that, that seed bead again. Okay. So now you've done your next round. So if you pull that tight, you'll see that these new beads, the new four that we've just added, are sitting on top of the four underneath, so if I turn it sideways, it looks kind of like that, 
okay? Ah, so, okay, yeah. Right, so now we want to add seed beads again. So put my thread over my finger. Now we're going to pick up five beads again. Three, four, five. And then again, we're going to jump over the black bead and we're going to go through the seed bead that's in between the black and the silver, okay? So you should have that one, because remember this bead was the, uh, the middle one in the petal underneath when we were adding the large beads. So you're going through that bead that is in between the black and the silver. Okay, five again. One, two, three, four, five. Through the next seed bead that's between your two pearls this time. Okay, another five again. One, two, three, four, five. Through the next one in between your two pearls. And then five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then just make sure you go through that one at the bottom there, which is between the pearl and the black. And then you can go straight through again the first three of your next petal because again you want to come out. So you're going through four beads here. You're going through the one that's in between the black and the silver and then the first three beads in the petal that's above your black bead there. Okay? Okay. Right. Now you're going to repeat the same thing over and over again to make your rope. So I'll do the next round as well. So now I'm coming out above the black bead. So I want to pick up a black bead again. And again, go to the next petal, the five beads we added there, and you go through the middle bead okay. of the five. Again. Then pick up a pearl. Go through the middle bead again uh -huh. of the next five. So this is basically, now I'm adding the filling in my filled netting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I pearl again. Again, through the middle bead in the next five. And then a pearl again. So this is the fourth one in this round. chasing the beads around my board here. <laughs> so this seed bead here, that's just before your black bead, that's the, the middle bead in the previous round, okay? So you go through that one again, okay? So again, you've got your four large beads on the top layer, okay? So that's your filling. And then the next round, we do the netting again. So same as before, five beads, Okay, I'll just do this one more round and then I'll move on to the next step, just so that you can see. So again, I'm going through the bead that's between the two large beads. Okay, and then five again. One, two, three, four, five. Through the next one. So this is your basic filled netting, also known as Mark's Kiss Cross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only difference is I've used the black bead, which is sm slightly smaller than your four millimeter pearls because the black is a three millimeter round, but it doesn't really matter. What happens with that is it's really the netting that creates the size of your rope, not so much the filling, as long as your filling fits inside the netting. So it doesn't matter that the black is slightly smaller. As long as you put your five beads over it, the same as your other beads, it's still going to look kind of uniform. Um, so now I'm going through the last one that's in between those two there. Okay, and then again, I'm kind of stepping up into the middle bead of the first petal. So I go up through the three beads there to be coming out the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to add one more set of my filling. So picking up a black again because I'm on top of the black. And then you'll see when I've added these that you can start to see the spiral happening. Then through the middle one, middle and the next petal. And then you add your three pearls. So, one pearl, okay, then another pearl, gorgeous, and then your last pearl. That's well, easier to hold on to, isn't it? It is. Once it starts to grow, bounce. it's easier to hold, mm. okay? So now. So you can see I've got my rope starting to happen there with my spi black spiral going through it, okay? Mm. 
So now I'll show you how to do the flaring out. Oh, yes. Bring this into I the love shot. this bit. So you can see the only thing that happens when, because you're using slightly smaller black beads is it kind of gives it this little texture. Yes, it does. Yeah. So it pulls it in a little bit where the black beads are, which I think is really nice because mm. it's not just a straight rope. It's a, it's a bit textured as well. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the, the flaring out bit at the bottom here. So it's the same stitch again. Okay. Yeah. Except this time, before we add the next round of filling, we're going to pick up seven seed beads instead of five. So picking up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then again, we're going through the seed bead that's between the black and the next pearl. Okay. Then pick up seven again. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, through the next seed bead that's between the next two poles. There's a lot of counting, so just bear with me while I'm counting here. <laughs> so seven seed beads again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but it's basically the same technique in the flared out section as well. You're just increasing the size of the knitting and the size of the beads. Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, and then again through the bead here at the bottom, which is between your two larger beads. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through that one for now. And then to step up, again, you want to go to the middle bead of your petal. So remember now we've got seven beads here, yeah. not counting those ones in between, so we added seven. So the middle one is the fourth one along. So you wanna go through the next four seed beads there. That's quite hard to see the silver line with all this light around us. <laughs> so then I'm going through three and then through the fourth one to go through the middle one. So again, I'm coming out of the middle of my petal. Okay. And then I'm going to switch to the six millimeter beads now. Okay. So I'm going to pick up a six millimeter. And again, I want to go to the middle bead, which is the fourth one in my next petal. Okay. Then pick up another six millimeter again through the middle one, another six millimeter. Now I've stopped using the black beads and I'm just using pearls now because um, the black ones will be too small here because I'm wanting to flare out. Uh -huh. So I'm just using four pearls and then again through that one, which was the middle one. So this was our next layer of our filling. So you've got your four beads there. Uh -huh. okay. Now for the next round, we're going to add nine for the petal. So each time we're adding an odd number of beads. We started with five when we were using all the small beads and then we went up to seven and now, now we're going up to nine because obviously you need to go through the middle one each time. So you don't have a middle one if it's an even number. So I've got nine here and then I'm jumping over to the seed bead that's between two of my pearls and then nine again. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, into the next one. Okay. You can now. see it. It's amazing, isn't it? Nine. Getting bigger. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. And unsurprisingly, nine again. <laughs> <laughs> hey. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine. Okay, so again into the bead that's in between the two silver. I'm just going through that one for now so that I can show you the next step, right? So again, I want to come out of the middle bead. So now we've got nine beads. So the middle one is the fifth one. So go through the next five beads to come out of the middle of your petal, the middle bead of your petal, uh -huh. okay? So now for the next round, we want to add something a little bit bigger than your six millimeter rounds, okay? But we've only got the six millimeter rounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a seed bead, a six millimeter, and a seed bead. Now we're gonna treat that as if it were a larger bead. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, but for our filling, we're gonna use this combination. Okay, so now we're going to jump across to the middle bead again in the next petal, which is the fifth one, one, two, three, four, Five, I think is that one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, keep your thread tight. Again, we're going to pick up a seed bead, an eight millimeter, and a seed bead. 
and again through the middle one in your next petal. Okay, same again, so a seed bead, a six mil. I mean, if you have matching color eight mil, you could use those, but actually, I think it looks nicer with the six mil because the eight mil, eight mil would be a little bit sort of overpowering, I think. Okay, yeah. So this way you're just adding the two seed beads on either side, but you're still keeping the size of the bead, which makes it look a little bit more sort of delicate. Okay. Yeah. And then again through this lot. Now, don't forget here, when you get to this one, your, your middle seed bead in your previous round is not the one that's right next to your pearl because that was the one that we picked up in our combination. Right. Seed bead, pearl seed bead. So the one before that is the one that was the middle bead in your okay. previous petal. So just make sure you go through that one. Okay. And then for the last round, we're going to do the same thing again, but we want to put the little sort of... Um, netting petals over the top. So now we've got even a bigger jump to get over. So now we're going to add 11 beads. Okay, so just excuse all the counting again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11. Okay, now when you jump over, you've got your two beads here. Remember that we're part of your combination of six mil with the seed beads. So don't go through that one. What you need is the one underneath, which was the middle one in your petal. So can you see that? So not the two, which are on either side of your petals, oh, okay. but the one before, which was the middle bead. Uh -huh. Okay. So you want to go through that one there. And then the same thing again. So 11 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. And then again, you want to find that middle bead in your underneath petal. Okay. And then again, 11, 1, 2, oh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, through the middle one. And then your last one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Now here again, just make sure you find that crossover bead, which was the middle bead in your, pre in your previous petal. Okay, so that's your round finished here. And then just one other thing I wanted to do, if I show you on the necklace, I wanted yeah. my petals to have a point. Yeah. Okay. That's so sweet. Look at it. Whereas if you look at this one, the petals are quite round. Rounded, still. yeah. Okay. So to do that, what you're going to do is again, you're going to go up through the next petal, but you're going to come out just before the middle bead. So you've got, <laughs> so you've got 11, 11 beads uh, in this round. So you want to come out after the fifth one because you want to come out just before the middle bead this time. Okay. And then you want to skip over that middle bead and you want to go through the five beads on the other side. Okay, and then if you just jiggle this middle one around so that your thread, because now you, you've jumped over this one with your thread, you want your thread to be on the inside and pull the bead out a little bit. So when you pull it tight, that little middle bead pops out and creates this little point here. Uh -huh. Okay, That's so, now, so cute. now when you get to this crossover section here, you want to skip over that middle crossover bead that you used in the previous round and those two seed beads that you put in between your, your pearls, on either side of your pearls, and you just want to jump across to the petal beads. So remember the 11 beads that we added? So I'm jumping over from the 11 beads of this petal straight over to the 11 beads of that petal. And what that does is it pulls the petals a little bit closer to each other. So you want to go through the five again. Okay. I'm going to pull it, and that's going to pull your petals uh, a little bit closer to each other so that they sort of face like that a little bit more yeah. rather than sort of opening right out. And again, so I'm not adding any beads here. I'm just skipping over that middle bead and going down the five on the other side. And then again, just jiggle the corner a little bit so that the bead sits on the outside of the thread. And then again, jump over everything here into the petal beads, go up the first five again. So you pull those two petals closer to each other. Again, skip over one into five. OK, 
Tracy. Now this time the bead sort of sat on the outside of the thread by itself. I didn't even have to jiggle it. So that will happen sometimes, but if it doesn't, just convince it to go that way. <laughs> okay, and then the last one, same thing again. Let's go down the five on the other side. Okay, and then just make sure on the last petal as well that you jump across so that you do that little bit of closing here as well. So you want to go through there and then you can finish off your thread. So you've finished your rope. Now the length of rope that I made for each side of the necklace, um, I'm just going to work my thread back into the necklace here so I can finish it off there. Um, so I did, for each side of the necklace, I did 35 rounds. So Easiest way to count is just to count the number of black beads that you have because obviously you have one black in each row. So one, two, three, four. Here I've only done four, but obviously on the necklace I did 35 for each side. You have enough beads to do more if you wanted to, um, but I wanted to save some of the black beads for the earrings and for the bracelets and, and that sort of thing. So uh, also it depends on the length of your necklace. So then once you've worked your way back here, you can finish off your thread. They're like little fox gloves, aren't they? Yeah. And then to put it all together, all you need is a bit of your beading wire. Okay, so you need a section of your beading wire. Because that's basically it for your beading part. The rest of it is just threading, really. And then, oh, I didn't get my crimps out. Give me a second. Uh, I haven't got any crimps yet. Never mind. I can show you without the crimps, that's fine. So basically what you're going to do is when you have your section of rope, Mm -hmm. You're just going to take your beading wire and you're going to thread it through. There's a hole in the middle and it, that hole will kind of guide your thread through because your pearls are quite close to each other. Mm. So it's quite simple to put your beading thread right through the middle there. Okay. okay. And then what I did was I added on, let me just check how many did I add. Oh, the necklace has gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I put on three of my six millimeter pearls. So I put mm -hmm. one pearl on. Okay, so I put the three pearls on and then just to attach the pendant, yeah. all you need to do is, if you look at the pendant, it's got two holes on it. So it's got a little two holes just be behind the ears here. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. Okay, so I just took my thread, my beading wire through one of those holes, just like that. I would put a crimp bead on here first and then go back through the crimp bead, back through a few beads and then crimp that with a crimp cover so you can have a look on this one here. Yeah. So you can see I've got a crimp and a crimp <clears throat> cover there. Just don't put it too close. You want to leave a little bit of space so that the ears uh, have somewhere to sit. So just put the crimp cover and the crimp bead above the ears. And then on the other end, I did the same sort of thing again. So just thread it on a few more pearls, depending on what length you want your necklace mm -hmm. to be. And that's it really, because the other end is finished off as it is. You just need to finish off the thread that you started with. And that's fine like that. And then your beading or thread, your beading wire comes out the middle and that's it really. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that, Micah. That's oh, gorgeous. Pleasure. Thank you. Star by coming up now, something which I think is going to be really, really useful for this design. Here's a question for you. I don't know whether this is necessarily going to work, Monica, but could it work? Could you? You know where you've extended and expanded that tubular netting? Yes. Could you possibly use you these? You could. You could put it where I put the seed bead on either side of the six millimeter. You could put one of these. The other thing you could, the other place you could use them for is when you add the petals, your odd number of beads, your yes. five or seven for your petals. If you put one of these as the middle bead, then when you come around to going through that middle bead the next time, then you know which one is the middle bead because ah, you use nice the silver one. bead instead. These are sterling silver. I'm not going to take the time to count these. <laughs> you get 400 in the pack. I don't think we have ever done 400 two millimeter sterling silver spacer beads. That is, that is ridiculous. We've done, yeah, we've done, we've done, we sell packs of 40. Uh, we sell packs of 40 for, would you believe it, 4.99, which would make this pack of 400 seed beads, I beg your pardon, 400 sterling silver spacer beads in two mil size, 50 pounds. It's not going to be anywhere near the, that price point. 
We wanted to get this in before the end of the show. Believe you and I, you're going to want to be there right now. Um, being able to use it with the gorgeous designs that we've had today, but in particular with the gorgeous Cartier Wallace Simpson inspired pieces that Monica's um, uh, crafted so beautifully. Whether it's with the gold, whether it's with the silver one, I, I personally, I'd probably put it with the gold one. I think it'd be easier to see them, easier to spot them, and you've got that precious metal element as well. Janice has got three packs of these. That's the right idea, Janice. Well done. They are absolutely flying already. That's great to see. You're not getting 40, you're getting 400. You can see you're getting uh, huge amounts of them here. 400 of your sterling silver, two millimeter speed beads. Speed beads. Seed beads, spacer beads. So that was that, that was a mix between spacer and seed, wasn't it? Speed beads. Oh my god! Oh. Four hundred for nineteen pounds ninety nine pence. So you're paying for yeah, one hundred and sixty. You're actually getting four hundred four grams of nine two five sterling silver across these as well. Nina Maker D, Bev Pearl, Janice, uh, Maureen. But moving forward with your tubular nesting as well. I mean, you could do entire pieces just using sterling silver space. Oh, you're going to yeah. need a lot of them, obviously. But if you wanted to do not maybe the entire necklace that that Monica's made here, but yeah, maybe little sections. I think that you know that that might work beautifully, mightn't yeah. it? Uh, gorgeous, Joyce Gabrielle, well done to you. Sue Jamalti, well done to you. Janice has got four loads. Carol Ann, well done to you. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, things like stretchies as well, these work so beautifully just on their own because they're such yeah. wonderful things in their own right, aren't they, Monica? They are, they are. Um, and especially if you put them in between your larger beads, um, they don't actually touch your skin on, on a stretchy, for example. So people ah. who don't like uh, metal, it doesn't matter because it's not actually touching your skin, even if you, know, if you put it between eight millimeter beads or something like that in a stretchy it's not against your skin yeah absolutely you see that's so nice isn't it you've got that you've got that option of putting it into a stretchy bracelet with much 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 bigger beads yeah. it's not only going to hide the knot it's not going to give you that lovely space of feature but it's going to give you uh but it's got one minute left of the show we're not we're not we're not we're not dropping the price point that is your price point eight uh, 19 pounds 99 pence literally 50 seconds left of the show and then we've got a hobby maker uh joining us monica we did say this morning these kits are next level and what she's made is just beautiful and well done the kits wow. have absolutely flown out the door it's just been uh, it's just been incredible so well done thank you so much for your masterclass oh, i know that was a real struggle to get it into that time frame but thank you so much janice well done you've got four loads vivian's got two loads i mean they're literally flying out the door well done thank you so much for joining us today um you've got um, an amazing couple of days coming up uh, we're going to be bringing you the most brilliant brilliant items on friday as well you've got hobby maker this afternoon um with uh, with Ben and you've got lovely Pauline as well she's ready to go don't go anywhere we'll see you the other side of this thank you so much for your work Monica you've been awesome you we'll see you the other side of this wow.